Cobra was amazing. One year from Larza, thank you. I know it is just Seagull. God, I love this music. Okay. So, it's been a while, chat, since I finally finished a game. So I think it's time we finish Outer Wilds. What are your thoughts? Time to wake up. God, it's so weird to look at that still. Okay, where were we, boys? Where were we? 100% pog. Definitely not 100%ing this game. Might come a little bit close, but no way I'm going to 100% it. That, that's called work. Suit up. Let's view the log. Let's view the log. Where were we? Seagull, what's the TLDR of this game? Oh, God. Oh, God. Um... Okay, the basis of the game is you're in a time loop. Every 20 minutes, the sun explodes and you die and the game is exploring. And that's all I can say without spoiling literally everything. All right, what do we what do we have finished here, chat? What do we need to do still? Uh, we've done the quantum moon, right? We've done everything over here. I'm missing this giant question mark, and I don't know why, but I, I thought I already did everything with the orbital probe stuff. Ash Twin Project, obviously we've been there too. We've been to all of the old stuff in the Hanging City. Oh, this was, this was this place. Yeah, I've been on the cannon though. Oh, so wait, wait, wait. Before, before we continue, we need to figure out where we want to go. And so last time I played this game, right? What we did was we went to Dark Bramble for the first time and we explored and we found the Hollow Vine. This was the last thing we did, the Hollow Vine. A secret to reaching the core of Giant's Deep lies at the end of the Hollow Vine. To find Feldspar's ship, I want to go to the tail end of the Anglerfish Skeleton and look for a flickering light. Do I really even care about that? I've already been to the center of the deep. I I feel like I, I actually went in a really weird order in this game because I already know I have the coordinates for the eye of the universe, right? And don't I just have to shoot myself there using the orbital probe cannon at this point? But I, I feel like there's still stuff in the dark bramble that I, I just have to go explore. Wing B, Hulk, Tech, tech Katana, Larzeth. For one year, thank you, Larzeth. So what I think is I definitely want to go explore more of Dark Bramble because Dark Bramble's cool, right? We're going to go explore Dark Bramble. And then um, after that, I think we're probably good. So have you played Shadowbringers yet? No, not yet. I didn't. So I actually didn't play much Final Fantasy 14 at all prior to Shadowbringers. I played like the smallest amount and by smallest amount, I seriously didn't, didn't even get to endgame. So what I'm probably going to do is just buy a story boost and then watch a shit ton of YouTube videos and story summaries to figure out what's happening in the game before Shadowbringer so I can hopefully appreciate the story even 5%. That's the current plan. Because leveling in that game is pure... Oh my god, it is so bad. You, you get like one ability for 40 levels and you're just kind of doing a story that in this in the initial story in the game sucks compared to like the later expansions. It's really good once you get there, but it has a lot to work through. Anyway. So, Dark Bramble, we got to find the last escape pod, we have to find the vessel, and we also have to explore the Hollow Vine. That's where we're at. And then, we also have the... I don't know why the Ash Twin Project is currently a question mark, because we already know everything is... everything about the Ash Twin Project at this point. But, um... We could probably find it. 
I don't know. You can probably find it. I think the only reason that's still not is still not working or whatever is because we didn't actually walk into the mask room. I'm pretty sure that's the only reason this is currently still a question mark. And so I still need to, uh, what's it called? Probably go into it. I don't know. I just don't want to wait for it. The same waiting for the sand stuff is annoying. So I think what we should do is just dark bramble, dark bramble it up chat. What are your thoughts? Cult of One, 35 months. What's up, Cult of One? Says, hey there, bird guy. What's up, man? Battle bow, thank you for two months. Uh, I should probably slow down a little bit. have the radio frequency distress signal uh i don't know what you mean by that oh there's one right there okay Is that light a fishy or what? Hard to tell. I think we just go that direction for now. The red light looks interesting. Hey, we've already know we already know what that red light is. It's a fucking house of fishies that kill you instantly. Sucks. Why is the game flipping Mach W and wide people blanket so often? I know. It's pretty terrifying sometimes, actually. Is there a fishy next to me right now? I'm too scared to turn because I don't know if it actually spawns. Does turning use jets, which then aggroes the fishy? It doesn't matter. We're going in. Okay, perfect. Now we're in another seed. Time to scout up. Scout up, boys. Far wait what? Oh it went to the it went to the end there. I wanna know what some of these lights are before we keep going. There's all fishies? That's another seed to the right. Okay. What is that to the left? Another how many seeds are in this room? Are these all seeds? All right, whatever. Let's go to this one right in front. Streamer just chatting, by the way. Oh, one sec. Oh no, I up I updated it. We're we're in the right thing. You're wrong. Oh fuck. Shit. I was looking by the monitor. All right. Oh, the seed. The seed's right in front of us.
Oh, right, right, right. You have to throw this in here, right? And then it goes to the spooky skeleton and it hangs out. Okay, perfect. So then that's the scout up there, right? Which will lead us to that seat. Okay, sounds good. So first things first, let's uh, toss you back in there. Right? Now we're going to head on over to this seat. Okay. Now we're in here, right? I hate this scenario, chat, right here. Wait, it's like, now I'm in the dark ramble, right? I was gonna, I was gonna pull back right now. Where you don't have access to a skeleton. Okay, never mind. It's just the skeleton in front of us. We're good. It's just the skeleton. Sarok, Ken Posh. Harry 456 Sonic for 32 months. Thank you. All right. Skelly located. Skelly located, boys. Let's roll upward so we're more normal with it. Yep. There we go. There we go. Okay. You bet I can't actually park in here. You might be able to, actually. Can I get through the gap in the teeth over here? Nope. Well, good enough. Let's get it. I haven't actually been backseating. I haven't I haven't gotten backseated that much in this. Um I went somewhat at one point because they didn't have moderators and two people like there's a few people who were trying it, but I was trying to play, but uh, most time it's fine. Say duplicate signals the ship. Hello, Feldspar. I've talked to you before. Have you been? Wait, I've already been here. I've been here. There's no point. I don't want to. I don't want to read this. I've already been here. No wonder there are so many. I can't believe you didn't die. They used to think the same thing. These days, I'm used to it. It's hall will went down. Stories free. Blah 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 blah. Should I tell? Oh no. no. Okay. So last thing he told me was, right. Last thing I think he told me was head to the end of the spooky skelly and go into the hollow vine. And last time I did that chat, I ran into a problem, which was, uh, you know, what am I trying to say here? Oh, the sun exploded. Where's that thing go, by the way? So curious. Did I just go backwards? Am I about to hit myself? <laughs> God damn it. All right, let's get back in the ship and we'll head towards the end of the spooky skelly. So apparently, chat, from what I remember, anglerfish are fairly territorial, which is why there are no anglerfish next to the giant skelly because they're all spooked by the light and so they run away. But the more you go out from the spooky skelly, the sketchier it gets. Right there, that's where I need to go, chat. Now, we found a hollow vine. Single, do you play the controller? No, I do not. Uh, I'm too much of a pleb to play the controller. There we go, we'll land right here. Into the abyss we go, chat. I should have refueled. Crap. Last time you went the other way? Oh, maybe I did, huh? I don't know. Let's just explore and see where this one goes first. We'll see where we end up, you know? Um... Don't think I want to jump down there right now. Is this ice? Oh, this is where I ended up last time. This is it right here. 
someone was here recording trip four entry number i'm gonna say not one crash is three boring crash is zero but personal best well hope never thought i'd be able to see one of these beasties outside of giant's deep they're awfully useful back there maybe a jellyfish could be useful here too Blurt. <laughs> This thing tastes terrible. The outside is all rubbery and tough. Maybe that's because it insulates the jellyfish's inside from getting zapped by electricity. All right, I'm going inside this jellyfish's interior cavity to see what's in there. Tastes any better. Oh, God, dude. Yeah, chat one sec. I'm going to hop into the interior uh, cavity of this jellyfish. Beer back. What do you got? Note to Feldspar, do not eat this even if you are dying. It'd be too sad if this was the last thing you ever ate in this life. I guess these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Again, do not eat. Love Feldspar. Oh, so this is like the pleb way of getting into Giant's Deep if you can't put it together. From watching the jellyfish yourself. Okay, that makes sense. But we already went into Giant's Deep, so we don't care. So I guess then the only path that we still have to take is the opposite one inside this vine, right? Um, I'm not going to jump straight down. I think that's probably certain death. Especially with anglerfish left and right. So if I go back into the vine, right? And we go the other direction this time. Where will we end up? Hey, ship. Just jump? No. Okay, let's refuel. Okay, where's the other part of this vine go? Maybe there's not even two paths. We'll see. There, there aren't two paths. Ah, oh, okay. So. That leaves... There's a couple different ones, right? The first one is there is an escape pod in here. And then the other one was the vessel. We need to locate the escape pod. Want some fluctuations. How am I supposed to locate the escape pod? Because I don't see its signal. So how am I supposed to find it? I know it's here. It's weird. It's because you didn't identify the distress signals before. Yeah, I know. I think that's what screwed me over. Because I, I didn't I didn't I didn't scan it in a previous thing, so I did, it's not giving me the signal now. Even though if I had the signal now, it would, I would just find it. So I've seen no backseating. It's not backseating. We've already seen both of the other uh, pods. In fact, we've seen both of them. So I just didn't scan them, so it didn't give me the other one. So I'm probably gonna go over there. I'm gonna scan it really fast. I should probably meditate in the loop. Uh, I forget. There's two different ones. I have to look at my ship log, actually. Here, let's meditate. And then I think we can go... There's one of the planets was really easy to find one, I think. We scan it. We'll scan it real quick. And then we'll get the signal. And our signal thingy. And then we'll come back to Dark Bramble and we'll look for it. <laughs> Why does nothing happen in this game? Ugh. This game is pretty slow paced. It's all about exploring and like putting it all together. Okay. So we have a signal. It all happens in your head, winky face. Yeah. And he says Path of Exile is boring to stream. Hey, come on. Is this a white peepo blanket? How is it? Might buy. It's definitely a wide people blanket if you're at the main menu. Uh, also, if you're if the certain things are going up, I would say this is definitely one of the like it, it really depends. If you're into this type of game, it's super, super, super cool. If you're not, then it's very boring. And that's just how it is. But it is really, really fun in my book. Okay, where do we find the other escape pods? I we just saw them like we've been to both of the other escape pods one is on ember i think and the other one was on something else i don't i don't remember right now
One was on the black hole planet? Yeah, I think that was the one too. Honestly, I don't want to deal with the black hole planet, so we should probably just go to Ember Twin instead, because that's much easier to find it. Okay, now we're looking for the escape pod on this one. I don't think that's the escape pod that's for power. Where art thou? Is this it? No, this is the observatory. This is the cannon. We're almost, we're almost there. It's going to be on just the other side of this, I think. We've almost looked everywhere. There's our boy. Okay, let's just spin. Maybe we're going too much on the same side here. This is getting confusing. We should, I remember there's like a giant fucking light beam that just appears. I'm just, oh, here we go. Right here, right here. Found it. Perfect. Perfect landing, boys. <laughs> Grab the suit. Health and fuel full. Okay, let's go scan. That's not a door, that's glass. Of course, bird runs under glass. Okay. Look at the size of that thing. One more month until my first Twitch baby seeks mush. There we go. Distress beacon, perfect. Now, now we have the frequencies for distress beacons. So now we can head back into Dark Bramble and look for the last one. Uh, I'm going to meditate again and start at the, at the beginning. Also, so wait, Angel Morphic, I would say um, so far, I really, really like this game. If you're okay with going slow and reading and exploring, and that's like, you want to just get like immersed in a story and just go with it, then I think it's good. Um, if not, and you, if like, because I do realize like, obviously a lot of my audience are FPS games, then it's probably not a great idea is this like subnautica a lot of people compare it to subnautica and i don't know why it doesn't really feel similar to subnautica to me but it has similar aspects of how do i put it like you're kind of lost and exploring but i would say subnautica feels more obviously better to my opinion so this game's like a space version but doesn't have as cool stuff but Okay, so last bit now, right? We're gonna head to Dark Bramble, and now that we have the signal locator, so now we can actually find it. There's Dark Bramble. It's so far away, my God. Someone says similar games would be Firewatch and Return of the Oberdin. Hmm. I will say that usually I don't get into these types of games and I was really surprised when I did. I'm thinking it's probably because it's spaceships. I fucking love spaceships. Like you give me a space game, I'll play it. I love space games. I quantum moon. Mender, thank you for the prime. Massa sadistic for 300 bits. Thank you. Uh, shit, am I going in too fast? No, we're good. We're good. Okay, let's use a signal locator and see where we go here. Outer wilds. No, we want to find quantum. No distress beacon. Perfect. Let's look for distress beacons. So it's in that one over there. Send in the scout. See what we got. 
send in the scout, see what we got. Uh, any death nearby. Okay, perfect. That's a seed. Okay, seed located. One thing I will compare this game to Subnautica to is, in my opinion, they both have amazing level designs or they're just kind of insane in that regard. They both put you in like ridiculous environments and I, I like that. You describe this game in one sentence. Uh, you're in a time loop where the sun explodes every 20 minutes and you have to explore the universe as much as you can. Please don't, please don't tell me I have to go into the red one. I will be so pissed if I have to go into red. Oh, thank God. What's bad about the red one? Um, let me throw a scout in there so you can see. I didn't know this thing spins this much, by the way. One sec. Actually, I might not be able to throw a scout in there very easily because it's pretty far away. Uh, it's the home of interdimensional killer fish. Oh, fucking hell. Am I really going to go this close to red? Please don't kill me. There it is. The, there's the thing right over there. I think the, yeah, I think the red area is a different seed. So I think as long as I don't go in, I'm fine. Okay, wait, wait. Landing mode, landing mode. I guess we, we don't even need to land. Wait, who cares? There's no gravity. I'm just, I'm just a dumbass. Okay, wait, wait. Can you imagine landing here, by the way, into this shithole? Oh my god. Okay, we're cool. There we go. Match velocity helps. I think you can only match velocity if it's an object you can, like, lock onto, but I don't know. Okay, unidentified signal nearby. Escape pod three located. All right, time to see what happened here, boys. Let's get our bearings. Untranslated recording. Our escape pod crashed. We try to flee this place, destroying our movement and communication capability in the process. We've held out as long as we could, but this pod's supply of breathable air is nearly depleted and the angler fish attack more and more frequently. Our best chance of survival is to return to the vessel to either repair the damage or more probably await rescue. Seca is the message finished. The vessel's beacon is already growing fainter. It will be gone in a matter of hours. We need to leave here and quickly. Wait, what? I thought it was here inside the bramble. Gone in a matter of hours. Is this game available to everyone? Yeah. This game's been out for a couple weeks, I think. But it's like a Epic Games exclusive or whatever. There we go. We got a fucking recording here, boys. Escape pod three. This is the flight log. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated. Awaiting departure from vessel. Now launching escape pod three. Multiple collisions have altered the pod's trajectory. Significant damage to the pod has been detected. Navigation error, life support error, propulsion error. Scanning, external environment, scan completed, gravity not detected, breathable air not detected, multiple life forms detected, hostile, verdict, do not exit. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'd say it's pretty hostile. I would definitely say it's pretty hostile. Okay, what about you? 
there is a new problem our equipment is detecting two beacons from the vessel well we know that because that's how the seeds work right epic dense gang <laughs> But it isn't possible for the vessel to be in two different locations at the same time. I agree, but the beacons are exactly identical. Perhaps if I had more time, we're nearly out of time. Din, the vessel's beacon is quickly fading. Soon we'll be gone and we will be lost. We will follow the beacon whose source is nearest to us. Okay. Well, I don't want to turn you on in case that attracts the fishies. First, I want to read. What, is, what are you? Emergency escape hatch. Oh, okay. So if I blow you open, this is the emergency escape. Okay. Don't tell me you went over there. I swear, if it has, it's gonna have me go to red, isn't it? Ugh. Yeah, let's look around. So we've been, we, this is our second pod we've explored. Is there anything I missed? I think I got everything. So, I'm curious then. All right, that's the stress beacon. All right. You didn't finish the second recording. Oh, did I? Wait, let me go look. I thought it, I thought I just ended. Wait a minute. I've been there. We finished this one. This one's finished. Oh, this one. Let me see. Oh, but suppose that beacon is false. We likely don't have enough air to reach the further the two beacons the decision is made for us. We'll leave a trail of lights as we go. There's still a chance someone could hear our escape pod's distress signal. Oh, shit. Okay. So you guys actually went in that direction and you put out lights. Okay. Well, hmm. can I get the ship in here? We're getting, the, we're getting back in the ship, boys. Where's my ship? There it is. Ship's kind of floating away a little bit. Seagull, there's even more on that recording? Wait, what? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I finished that chat. I'm pretty sure I finished that recording just now. Okay. So, into the lights, chat. Into the lights. They said follow the lights from the distress pod. Dude, they must have been so screwed. It's incredible. You, like, can you imagine his landing in this shithole as an escape pod? They are so done. Can you drop a scout into red, please? Um, in a sec. Oh my God, what happened here? Hello? <gasps> was this all of them? They all died here? Because they didn't have enough oxygen. They went to the closest beacon and it was this one where they couldn't get through. Oh man, that's sad. Shit, am I am I like stationary? Okay, close enough. It was rigged. Yeah, they were just screwed no matter what they did, chat. They were actually just screwed. They're so they're so screwed. There's nothing they could have done. They did everything they could. Cut their hands. Oh, shit. That's a red one. So if you guys want to see what it is. This is red. This is why we don't go to red. You ready? Into that seat is red. We don't go there.
No way. Is that the vessel in there? Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna be so fucking mad if the vessel is in there. What the fuck was that? It actually is gonna want me to go in there, isn't it? Oh my god. <sighs> it looked like fish eggs. Okay, maybe. Look, let's let's scan the area. Let's investigate. What did you guys learn? Pepe hands. Okay. Shit. No, no, no. Scout, stop. Oh god, what is that thing? Wait. Hello? What are you? Here, photo mode. Take a pic. There's got to be something here I'm missing, chat. Let's look around. I mean, obviously, I could send in a scout, right? One sec. Let me see. Let me see where this goes first. <gasps> there we go. There we go. There we go. This is this is their vessel right there, chat. That's their vessel. They got caught. Right? That's all I need. There is a log. Okay, let's look around. Any logs? Any logs? That's a rock. That's a rock. Wait, are you two hugging? Oh God, that's sad. Is that a log? You really got out here, dude. How did you get out of here? Do any who, do any who come for us? We followed from the beacons, we can go no further. It's almost too faint to hear now, but within the vessel's beacon is still faintly emitting within this thorny sea. Yet the opening is too small for any of us to go through. So our escape pod couldn't have flown through here. I don't understand how this is possible. This gruesome place is manipulating space itself. This is our undoing. To be so close to the location of the vessel and so far is... Shit, it's flying away. Let's see. To still be so far is difficult. Worse, the vessel's beacon is dying. Soon we'll be unable to hear it. There is nothing we can do but try to perhaps to find a way inside or attempt to comprehend why this happened. Our dearest hope is that the other escape pods are able to reach safety. Okay. So we gotta we gotta fly in. We can't get in through this side, obviously, right? We have the beacons, though, which they didn't have. And then we got to hope for the best. And these guys had no idea what this place was, and they just tried their best, you know? So, again, we're going to toss our beacon in there. We're going to put the beacon on the ship, and then we're going to find it. And there, boom. There's the entrance to the ship. Now to find our way in, boys. Duplicate signal 1.4 kilometers. There is not a world where I'm going into that fucking red one. Hopefully. Yet. Okay. Okay. Please tell me. You gotta be kidding me. I actually have to go into red, don't I? Is there any other path? Tell me. Wait, wait, wait. Get me out of here. I'm stuck. Well, I'm stuck. Am I actually stuck? Don't fucking get me stuck. Get me out. Get me out. Oh my god, am I actually stuck? All right, we're fucked. This is how it ends. Okay, let's look around real quick. So... Let, let's see. Try rolling. Oh, good, good call, good call. Oh, wait, wait. I kind of moved there? Uh, is that thing going to hit us? Fuck, I retrieved it. Maybe I can like, yeah, I agree with that. Maybe we could push it from the outside, chat. <laughs> sounds so stupid. Maybe just push it forehead. Fucking bramble. Look, we're caught on the, we're caught on the plant here. <laughs> it's not working, chat. Fuck. Okay, one sec. It 
worked. I'm owning. I, I did this. I pushed it. Okay. So now it's at the opening, right? So where's our third opening here? Error duplicate signal, scout, scout, right? There has to be a third path, right? Right? Did I just get stuck again? Oh my fuck, am I this dumb? Okay, 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 let's look around. Is there any path I can take that does not involve me flying into the red abyss? Is there a single path anywhere that does not take me flying into 20 anglerfish? No. Oh my God. Okay, okay. How do we get by all the angler fish without dying? We know that they cannot hear. Or sorry, they're they're blind, so you have to be very quiet, chat. You have to be very, very quiet. Fucking hell, are you serious? I they are these I seriously have to go in there? Like, are you for real right now? Like, is it even worth bringing the ship? Like, do you think they could even hear me? Hmm, let me think about this. Fuck it. Fuck it, okay. We'll bring the ship. Let me try the ship. I'm actually curious. You have to go, you have to go really, really slow, chat. Okay, really, really slow. Turn off the headlights, they're blind. It doesn't matter, they're blind. Can you boost and let momentum carry you? Yes. God fucking damn it, dude. Okay, okay, okay. Chad, how the fuck? How am I supposed to get by them? Uh, we just lost the signal too. Fuck. Do I have to go back now? Oh god. Oh fuck. Ah oh, shit. Why are those things there? Let me see. Let's try shooting it up. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. I know how to do this. We use the ship as bait. We toss in the ship and then we eject and bait it. They chase the ship and we walk by. I think that's what we do. I think it's a strat. But here's the problem. I don't know how or where the vessel is past that. Because we don't know where we're going. So I'm kind of fucked regardless. Um, shit. Like, there's no way I remember where I was going a minute ago. Wait, is it here? No, it's there. <gasps> oh, fuck. Here we go, boys. Here we go. It's happening. We're in. We're fucking in. Wait, wait, wait. Back up. Back up. Unbuckle, unbuckle, eject, eject, eject. Death. Death. Wait, that's bullshit. You heard me and not the ship? Oh, oh, he 180. They're falling for it. 
We're owning! It worked! Holy shit, it gave me a heart attack, but it worked! Oh god, go, 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 go! So these are their eggs or something, right? This is like their nest, I assume. That's why they get so heated, right? Ship hole breach detected. Yeah, no shit. Okay, we're dead. But, you know, we made it this far. So at least we have that. Where's this one go? Where's this one go? Does this lead to the vessel? Wait, does this one lead to the vessel? We need to know. Wait, it just leads some more seeds. Where the fuck does it go? Wait, it's a... T oh, did it just duplicate itself? Uh... Okay. We know how to get past the fishies now. We figured it out just from that. We almost died, but holy shit, we know what's up. We figured it out, boys. We need to, we need to locate the vessel, and it's got to be close to their eggs. Yeah, I agree. It has to be close to the eggs. Crichton, thank you for 26 months. Bob, Angel Morphic, thank you for 300 bits. Darkless refresh. Okay. Okay. Chat, how else am I supposed to get by the fishies? It's like, it feels legit impossible. I don't know how else you're supposed to get by them. Like, I know they're blind or whatever, but... You just have to not thrust at all when you... Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, so we kind of have to do the whole thing over again, right? We have to find the vessel, right? So here's what I don't understand. Yeah, I know. I know Ayasana. Ayasana says, even if you turn, you fire thrusters. Yeah. So turning fires... Oh, you know, turning doesn't fire th too much, maybe? You can turn. You can turn, chap, but you can't, like, turn and thrust, right? So. So turning is silent. But, uh, no idea how to get past them before that. Is rolling silent? Um, oh shit, oh shit, going way too fast. Oh fuck, oh fuck, fuck! Um, this is fine. One sec, suit up, suit up. We need to repair this shit, one sec. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Autopilot was completely ruined in that one. Landing gear was almost completely dead too. I think we're good. Wait, something's still sparking. What are you? How am I supposed to even get to that? Oh, the landing camera. Saved. Okay, cool. Back in it, boys. We're back in it. Refuel. Buckle up. We're going in. Okay. Okay.
So that one's distress beacon over here, right? Just go straight to red. We can't. We can't because we don't know where the thing is. So we can't. We have to follow the thing first. Zora, Beb, they for 16 and 18 months. Okay, we're going to get to this seed. Also, I'm curious if the scouts also potentially debate the uh, the thing, but I'm not sure. That noise is very unpleasant. Everything about this place is unpleasant, man. There it is. Okay, now we follow the lights behind it, right? Where are the lights? Where are the lights? The lights. Oh, there are the lights. The lights located. Just don't get stuck again. Yeah, I know. I know. Okay, boys. Target located. Target located. Alrighty then. Vessel located, boys. Vessel located. Okay. So, chat, how are we doing this? Oh, fuck. Guys get stuck again? Oh, saved. Okay, okay. So, chat, how are we doing this? Take some dead people with you. What? Use them as bait? No, that's fucked up. We gotta find a way that's better. We gotta find a better way. Okay, okay. Chat, what if I just take my hands off? Is this sponsored? No, this is not a sponsored stream. We've been playing this for like four games or four streams. Eric Requiem, Tackleberry, thank you for 11, three months. Jeebus, Skybox, both for one year, thank you. All right, all right, all right. So chat, do we just fall in and then just take our hands off the keyboard or what? Should we just do it and hope for the best? Do we just let Jesus take the wheel? Oh, dude, yes. All right, all right. Shh, shh, shh. Hands off the keyboard, hands off the keyboard. We're going really fast, really fast. Here we go, here we go. Chat, we're dead instantly. What do you mean? We're gonna fly straight in that fishy's mouth. Come on. Wait, are, or are we? Don't touch the light, don't touch the light. Please, 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 please. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Unbuckle, unbuckle, we're unbuckling. Fuck this. Are we suited up? We're suited up. I think we're good. We're not gonna, we're not gonna thrust or do anything. Oh my God. I'm still not gonna thrust or do anything. We're just AFK. Because once, I think once we reach the eggs over here, I think we can thrust away. Are you moving? Yes, we are. Very slowly. Chat, you know what this, this ship needs? A window in the back and the sides. That's what this ship needs, chat. Skeezy 34 months is easy clap. True, true. So wait, where, where is the scout? Oh, there it is. 1.5 kilometers that way, huh? Okay. I still hear them, so I don't want to. I don't want to do anything because I still hear them. All 
Alright, wait, wait, wait. Should I roll and look at him really quick? Holy shit, I can see his light literally right there, dude. I kind of want to throw it, but I know it's over here, so maybe not. No more thrusting, we're too close. Oh fuck, did I just turn it right as I was unbuckling? I think we're okay. Wait, is that a seed? We gotta thrust to get in the seed. Just tap it. Alright, we're in. Okay. Now what? So it says it's right below me, 800 meters. So now I'm just going to launch another scout because it's right there. Wait, we're in. We made it. There's... I don't see any. We're in, boys. How did the vessel get caught by all these plants anyway? This is the original vessel that brought him here. So cool looking. So wait, there's no way in here, right? Unless there's a door maybe down there. Oh, this is the entrance. This is the entrance. Okay, just making sure. Let's land and then we'll uh we'll do it. Hello, land. Okay, we'll do it right here instead. Uh, fuck it, close enough. Look at the size of that thing. Your Warframe gameplay and me spooked, and I have started playing again. <laughs> the devs made me so hyped. I know now that Warframe is the game for me. Hey, don't know. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I'm glad you like it. I love Warframe. Uh, did this bump a skelly? <gasps> I'm sorry, skeleton. Trees detected. Nice, nice. What are you? What that do? Oh my god, is it is it There's too many combinations. You'll never be able to do this at random. Right? There's too many combos. It's not going to work. We need to find... This is like a password or something. We need to find the password somewhere else, chat, so we can activate everything, I think. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Let's look around. See, we already have the password, remember? No, those were the coordinates for the eye. I don't think the coordinates for the eye are also the password to the ship. Well, you know what? 
Let me see this. They, they would, they might be stupid enough to do that. To any know my clans whose vessels can hear this message. It is clear the universe is dying. Uh oh. There are fewer and fewer resources and safe places within space now. So my clan and I believe the best option is for all of us clans to stick together. If you can reach the glooming galaxy, we found that black rock suns are fairly stable and life in the star system is comparatively thriving. We live in relative safety. If you prefer to continue exploring alone, no, you will be on your own. Kana, we're making our way to you. It's good to hear from you, Bromi. We'll watch for your vessel. Has anyone heard from Neem? His clan was on its way to her vessel, but they never arrived and he hasn't sent any messages. I'm beginning to worry. That is unsettling. It reminds me of that old myth my grandfather used to tell, the disappearance of a skull. I remember hearing that story as a child. One day, a skull's vessel simply stopped responding. The other clan searched and searched, but found no trace. It was as if their missing friends had warped entirely out of existence. That's no myth. Eskal's clan existed and their story was real. What a curious event to have passed into myth. Our ancestors' ancestors were told this story when they were young. Are you sure it's true? Let me see. Oops. It was a very long time ago, but yes, my clan's ancestors for Eskal's clan for a long time, but in the end, none of them were ever seen again. It is the only time a vessel and our history has ever disappeared this way. Stop, I hope you aren't comparing a skull story to my own clan vessel. Neem, my friend, we feared you were gone. Not yet, we aren't, but nearly. We found trouble during our warp. The triple suns of the bright star spark star system exploded and it was only a lucky coincidence we weren't caught in the blast. We'll see you soon, Kana. I'm relieved your clan is safe. It's good to hear words. Any vessels nearby, remember to be extremely cautious of a potentially unstable stars, which is most of them now. The universe is dying and most of the stars are unstable. That's what he's talking about. This is a skull's vessel. Something went badly wrong during our warp. Our vessel's mortally wounded. We need help. Our vessel appears to have, as it fused with the local environment somehow, there are vines that are a part of the vessel. It's been torn apart from the inside. We're abandoning our vessel. Any know my clans are space flight capable species receiving this message. I implore you, we need your help. Is this broken? Can anyone hear me? Our vessel is dying. We need immediate assistance. Pepe hands. So that's like outbound and inbound communication. Oh, each of those whiteboards. What is that? Why were you dying next to this? <gasps> the warp core! Wait. Can I make this warp? Wait, wait, wait. I have access to the black hole forge. I can create a new warp core. I can come back. I can plug in a new warp core into here. But like, what's the point? What does that even do? This one's bro broken. It looks broken as fuck to me, chat. It looks broken as fuck. Like, I can try and plug this thing in, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to do shit. Insert warp core. Ship log updated. Chat, I don't know. That thing looks busted. All right, let's look around some more. Let's look around. Some more trees. Trees, 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 trees. Uh... Anything else in this room? Let's look around. Just a bunch of trees. Oh, oh, what's this? What's this? Ooh, I have the universe. What are you doing here, buddy? I'm recording now. I've never encountered anything like this. The signal the vessel is receiving is older than the universe itself. This is our first cause of anything of this nature. Everyone prepare to warp immediately. Eskal, wait any more time to send an outgoing message. We should tell the other clans where we're going. We can send the message upon our arrival. This extraordinary signal appeared suddenly. It may disappear just as quickly. We can't lose it. Discovery this incredible focus on preparing for the warp instead. I understand. Banana, is the vessel ready to warp into the approximate coordinates of the signal? Or the warp core is powered, but this will be a significant jump. Afterward, we'll need time to recharge the core. I shouldn't create a problem provided we arrive near the signal source. Everyone, we're ready to warp. There's no way the warp core is here, right? 
It's not the warp core. They eyed the universe is in the dark bramble. And yeah, they did get greedy. They did, they did get re greedy, huh? It's not in the dark bramble. We know that because they, they were shooting probes from outside the cannon of the other planet, right? So it's not in here. Also, I'm losing so much fuel. Holy shit. Okay. See what you missed? There's a second ball of lores? Wait, what? Let me look. I'm running out of fuel. I'm gonna go back to the ship, otherwise I'm gonna die. Um, there's only one ball down here, chat. There's not two. Only one ball. Underneath the warp core? Oh, you mean this thing? Yeah, we already established this is like a password thing. Silly chat. One sec, we need to get more fuel. Try moving it around. I will in a sec, but I, I don't want to run out of fuel and use all my oxygen. There we go. We're refueled. Now we go back. Read your ship log. Fuck that. I ain't flying all the way back to read a goddamn ship log. How boring that sounds. Hell no. What does this one do? Okay, what does this one do? Maybe that's where it started. Where's this one? Okay, so none of it does anything. Got it. Let's go explore some more. Oh shit. Okay, maybe no more exploring. Hmm. There's gotta be more to this place. This is a huge fucking place. Let's go look around on the ship. Is that even where you parked your ship? Yeah. I'm pretty sure what we're gonna have to end up doing here, chat, is we're gonna get a new warp core and build it at the Black Hole Forge. And then we're gonna rush back here, plug in the new warp core, all right? And then we're gonna plug in the coordinates for the eye of the universe straight into there. And I think that's, I think that's how you have to do it. Um, but I'm not sure if there's anything else here that I have to do. We'll see. Vessel looks sick though. Let's check the thrusts. Nothing. Oh shit. Alright. Is there anything else here before I go? Okay. Death is coming, but now I know what to do. What? We still don't know what to do with the orbital pro. Oh, the orbital pro cannon exploded when they fired it, so we can't use it again. I remember now. So we have to. So we have to use this ship 
We have to get a warp core from the black hole forge, bring it here, plug it in, plug in the coordinates and go. I think that's, I think that's the end of the game. I see the only thing I can think of. How do you know it's time for death? Uh, when this music starts, the sun is exploding. And also apparently the universe is dying and most, most stars in the universe are going supernova, apparently. That's why the Nomai were, you know, being nomads. But here's the question. Okay, I have the coordinates. I have everything I need as far as I know. Where the fuck do I, I've been, See, can you explain what happened before you found Escape Pod 3? Oh God, that's like the whole game. I don't want to explain the whole game. Uh, it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. So death is coming. Why does time reset? Time isn't, re it's not time that's resetting. Um, it's lore stuff. Surprisingly, um, you are not stuck in a time loop as in well that's spoilers so heads up spoilers chat big spoilers ahead if you're i'm near the end of the game so just letting you know basically how the game works is your memories are sent back 20 minutes so you still didn't find the room with the masks on Ash Twin. I guess I didn't go into the room itself, but I, I know everything else about him, I thought. That's why I didn't care enough. Ash Twin, you had to wait for all the sand to disappear and I was too lazy to go there. Ash Twin Project is very important. You're still missing it. Really? Okay, okay. We'll go there instead, I guess. We're gonna skip the ending of the game. We'll go there instead. Problem is, don't we have to wait? Like, we still have to wait for all the sand. You have to wait a shit ton? Yeah, I thought... See, the main problem with Ash Twin is you have to AFK and wait for the sand to go away every single time. I don't really know what the Ash Twin project is in terms of... Here we go. Let's actually just auto match velocity real quick. Can I just sit in orbit, please? Or I guess this works too. Oh, shit. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe I can land on that thing. I just don't remember, where's the sand part right now? I don't want to land on anything until I remember where the equator is. And we don't want us to land there. Oh, wait. I guess we're fine. We're fine up here, huh? Okay, we'll land on this thing really quick. Okay. Let's investigate. What are the big question marks that are still remaining, chat? Black Hole Forge is the most crucial, eventually. We're going to need to craft a warp core at the Black Hole Forge, specifically so we can plug it back into the vessel. And we already have the coordinates from the vessel to go to the eye of the universe. And we're just gonna warp straight out or something, I assume. I assume that's what's going to happen. And then we also have this other big question mark. Why is it so big? I don't even know. Orbital probe cannon. The orbital probe cannon is the one, I thought it breaks every single time above Giant's Deep. The launch module looks heavily damaged as a huge breach. Yeah, it looks fucked up. So, oh, well, hi, hi, Quantum Moon. Hi, Quantum Moon. See, you could go to the 
cannon until the ship sand or until the sand is away. Oh, okay. Well, wait a minute. You know, I've been to Ash Twin a lot. Uh, I've actually been here even when the sun exploded a couple times. I have no idea what I'm going to have to do here. So I'm just going to come back later. Let's go to Giants Deep first. And then we will do the orbiting cannon thing. Only 13 kilometers away. Yeah. There's the moon too. Yeah, it's got that thing. All right, can we orbit this? Let me see this. Holy fuck. Ugh. What the fuck? Let's get scammed? Where are you? Come back. Okay. Where are we gonna land in this thing, huh? I guess I can just land right here. Easy. Don't tell me we're going to crash on the planet now. We're in orbit, right? Why don't you land on the landing pad instead? Wait, what? There's a landing pad? Let me look around more. That's the cannon part. Oh, oh shit, there is. What the fuck? I sue. Grab the suit so we don't die. Perfect. Okay, let's go see what this thing is. Fuck. Pretty. Wait, what were you again? These are the things from Brittle Hollow, right? Probe tracking. Yeah. Control module. We haven't been to the control module. But it looked pretty fucked. <laughs> yeah. It's all messed up. Launch module projection stone. What's a launch module? Not looking too hot in the launch module. Let's be honest. It's not looking too hot. What is that? Giant's deep projection? Okay. Mallow might better 50% cassava sending last of the cannon components. Soon we'll know the eye's precise location. The thought of including our elders' curious and challenging search increases my heart's temp, my love. <laughs> he and the construction crew, construction yard crew, have determined a power setting. We are not under any circumstances to go above. I see, and am I right to think consequently, will we be ignoring that setting? I can pause it nearly 100% certainly our friends have accounted for our nature, so I suggest we do. Oh, God. Giving the orbital probe cannon all the power and construction with sand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Yes, the probe must travel as fast as it can, as far as it can, all it make adjustments, and then it doesn't work out too well. Wait, what's above me? Also, also, what's up, Ben? Then, of course, this is the Giant's Deep one. We've already been to Giant's Deep, but I'll put it in. Uh, we'll see what's up. 
I have bad news. There's a problem with the proposed power source. The orbital probe can will not be allowed to fire. I hope you're ready. You're pulling my locomotive flim. The orbital probe can is on indefinite hiatus. Tell Privet Mal they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I remain at the construction yard. We'll join you. She fears a day I may be responsible. Blah, blah, blah. Already been here. We know, we've been here before. Have you been to the sun station? Yes, we have. Okay. What's up here on the roof? <laughs> I like how this is the one that just flips you around. It's cute. This is the coordinate for the eye. All right, we've been here before, haven't we? This is not the coordinate for the eye. The coordinate for the eye is at the bottom of Giant's Deep. This is this is something else. It's a similar type of room though. Whoa, it's like a it's like a ship's log. Wait, 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 let me go back. Read it. How do I, where, what do I, there's nothing there. What do you mean read the disc? The chat, there's no discs on this one. Oh, you have to wait that long? That's insane. Wait, wait, wait. Eight minutes, 35 seconds ago, request a launch probe received from the Ash Twin Project. Cannon aligned with randomly selected probe trajectory. Grand, gravity field activate. Who the fuck? Launch the probe from Ash Twin. Someone launched it, right? And then when it launched, obviously it fell apart because they said it can't withstand it. So they, they fired it and all it broke. Launch log, probe launch was successful. Probe tracking module receiving data from probe. Orbital probe can structure compromise damage to multiple modules detected. So then it, then it went boom, boom. Orbital probe can damage report severe structural stress detected. Assessing damage intact, no structural damage. Viewport window fractured, ex module exposed to vacuum. Probe tracking module is currently missing. And we know the probe tracking module fell down into the depths of Giant's Deep, and we went there first. There's one more at the bottom. How the hell? How am I supposed to get to it? I, it won't let me scan it. I don't think. I don't think that works. Yeah, I think it's a bait. Let's say jump, maybe. It doesn't work. Okay. So. Now we're putting sort of the pieces together in the manner in which like we were originally supposed to do this. Um, so now we've been to the orbital probe cannon. We know that probe tracking fell into the core of Giants Deep. We've been to the core of Giants Deep. We located the coordinates, right? We've been there, done that. And this is the launch module. So this way you can see where it is and you're just like, where you, you put in the projection stone. You're like, where's the launch module, right? And you're like, well, this is weird. It Launch module is blah, blah, blah. Oh, sorry. The tracking module is blah, blah, blah. This is launch module. Launch module is just still fine. Sorry. The launch one is just on the other side of this. Let me see. Launch module. What was the other one? This is tracking, huh? Probe tracking module currently gone. Okay, so this doesn't work, but they said the viewpoint was fra viewport was fractured so you can fly in from the window. Okay. So it might be the easiest way is actually just to go out that way right there. You can see it. Go out this side, right?
now we're looking for... Is it this one down here? They said the viewport was fractured. Right. I don't know if I have the right module. We'll see. Why is your sense of direction so bad? What do you mean? Look at this shit. We're in fucking space. What do you mean? Why is your sense of direction so bad? We're orbiting a planet. Shit's zero G. Shit's crazy. Should have launched the probe. I agree with that. I agree with that. This is this is not where we're supposed to be, I think. But I'm not entirely sure. This is the cannon itself. Hi, cannon. So if that's not the way in, right? Where do I go? Is it this one? This is where my ship is. This is not it. I can refuel real quick, though, while we're here. So let's do that. Shit. We can actually just go back to the bottom now, right? Let's see. Uh, Wait, what? You locked yourself out. Yeah. Shit. Okay. So we got to get in somehow, boys. Um, before the sun goes boom, boom. One sec. Let's look around. This is one way in, right? Okay. You are not the one, right? This is launch module. Are you the one I wanted to go to? You are. Okay, cool. Let's do this. Uh, launch the scout in there. You're gonna fall out right there? I'm gonna be mad. Perfect, perfect. Oh, so wait, did I actually have the right one the whole time? Wait, let's go look. Oh God, is this the other one? Oh God. Scout. There we go. He's trying his best chat. <laughs> look, look, I made it. Okay, we're cool. Now, what's in here, boys? Okay. We'll pull out the scout, take a peek. Well, this is the launch module projection stone. Probe tracking module. Imagine the probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. will be the first to see them. I am honored and terrified. You won't ask the orb probe of Canada that it breaks, will you? Brent, I've read this before. I would mind because we can't... If we launch with too much power, we break it, is basically what he's saying. So please don't break it. Because the probe tracking module might die. And this is the probe tracking module, which we've been to, and it looks weird as shit. Okay. Is there, and of course, the rest of this room is just screwed. So wait, now what? Chad, do you think I can actually make it to Ash Twin right now and see what's going on? Look up. Uh, I don't think there's anything on the ceiling. I'm not. I don't really care too much. It doesn't look like there's anything there. I think we. I think we try and go to Ashwin right now. Perfect landing. Look at that. Twin, where art thou? Our class twins. Here we are, perfect. We're 
gonna slow down a little bit because I don't want to fly into the sun. Okay, chat. We need to figure out what's happening on Ash Twin. We don't have much time. Okay. We don't have much time. So let's look around. Let's look around. Apparently, people are keep saying, so we have, um, there's a puzzle here on Ash Twin that we have not figured out. And we have, like, probably less than five minutes to figure it out before the sun explodes and we all die. Um... Most of the sand is gone. Wait, what is this at the bottom? Wait, what is that? What is that? Holy shit, that was a bad landing, but we made it, okay. What is that? Oh, fucking hell. Is this gonna bridge bring me to the top? Why do I still have this? Get out of here. Casey go back from anime expert. Weeb Dan's game. <laughs> Just teasing. <laughs> Hope you had fun, man. Um. <laughs> so we're, and thank you for the thousand bit signs. Conventions are always really fun, but I always, always, always get sick after I go to a convention without fail. Okay, let's look around real quick, chat. We need to, we need to figure out what the fuck is happening. Is there something here with Ash Twin Project, but we don't know anything about it yet? Let's go, please try all teleporters. Wait, why? All right, let's look around. Maybe there's something hiding. That door is something. What is this? I don't know which one this is. Oh, this is, this is, uh, home. This is home. It has nice trees. I assume that's just home. So there's no point. It looks like Timber Hearth. Yeah, I agree. So obviously, chat is memeing about teleporters, which means we have to look around on every teleporter. So this is Timber Hearth, right? Um, this one is... I actually don't know what that is. What are you? Also, peace to my ship. Here's our first delivery. One warp core fresh from the Black Hole Forge. Root is installing this core si sibling on Brittle Hollow as I write this. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. what? I, w I wish I could wait here for you to arrive, but the Forge is calling a return more material soon. My gratitude with this, the Ashwin project is underway. I confess I'm deeply curious about what you and Poke found on the White Hole Station that started. Can I visit sometime to learn more? I recommend you do. The White Hole Station is the model for the towers being built, so a visit to the station would be useful. I suppose more precisely, I would like to visit with you, Clary. I'd be happy to explain her findings. Yero, stop using the scroll wall to flirt with my sister and go meet with her on the White Hole Neutrons and Romantic Matters. Her density rivals a neutron stars. Wow. Tough. Okay. So, is this guy implying that there is Black Hole Forge? One warp port fresh from the Black Hole Forge. <gasps> Oh, wait a minute. Does that mean this teleporter takes me to the Black Hole Forge? Was going to give some subs, but saw all the uh, yaya then changed my mind. Wow, never lucky, chat. All right, one sec. I want to see where this goes. Let's see where this goes, chat. Before the sun explodes, we're going to see where this goes. Uh, Don't teleport me into the sun. Please don't kill me.
Okay, the sun's going off, but we made it here, I, I guess. Is this the Black Hole Forge or not? <gasps> this is it. Departure time, arrival time. This is the Black Hole Forge. This is it. We made it. I think. So this is how we get to the Black Hole Forge, chat, because we can never get here from Brittle Hollow. But now the sun's exploding, which is always a shame, but hey. The Hanging City. Wait, they just put me to the fucking top? Our friends at Brittle Hollow just warp here from the White Hole Station. Our warp percent were we created, blah, 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 blah. I've been here before. So I just fucked myself by coming up top. But that that is how we get to the Black Hole Forge. Okay. That is how we do it. Bye, ship. Get your blankets out, chat. It's about to get really hot. Gotta cover yourself up. You want to get a sunburn. Nice. Okay, so we need to go there. Uh. So you ever listen on the stars when all of them align? No, but it'll probably make cool music, cool music though, because they all have songs or whatever. Okay, let me go look. We know everything there. So, have you ever landed on the lantern? The lantern? Are you talking about Sun Station? We've been there, done that. Uh, let's see. Black Hole Forge, Ash Twin Project. So, what we need to do is wait for the Ash Twin Sand level to go down. He means Brittle Hollow Moon, the Hollow's volcanic moon. Oh, maybe not yet. Maybe not yet. Um. We finish up the orbital probe can over here. The last question marks, chat. Two right here. We need to go to the Ash Twin Project. We need to apparently get to the mask room, which I have no idea how to get to. But on the plus side, we learned that the teleporter from Ash Twin Project leads to the Black Hole Forge. So that's cool. So there's one more purple question mark. Oh, this is, that's stupid. We don't care. So, I think it's time to go to Ash. We were just exploring where Ash went. But we, I think we kind of know, do, do the completion range. All right, all right. So, I don't understand, like, we need, so here's the goal, right? You rush to Ash Twin. You get the warp core from the Black Hole Forge. From the warp core and the Black Hole Forge, you rush to Dark Bramble. You plug in the warp core and replace the old one. You plug in the coordinates for the eye of the universe. And then we warp core again and hope that it works. And I think that's how you do it. But apparently people say that there's more to learn on Ash Twin Project. So there has to be more there I'm missing that's important enough to potentially like fuck that shit up. So I need to look around. Syntax, thank you for 13 months. Eins, thank you for the 1,000 bits. So we need to look around more at Ash Twin. One part of your plan is wrong. Okay, cool. That means we need to look around more. 
at Ash to win. And also while we're here, we should probably just get this quantum thing. I hope it's not underground. It's gonna be underground, isn't it? It's there we go. Signal identified museum chart. Okay, cool. I know it's the museum. I just wanted to scan it so that way we get percentage. We have to wait for uh, Ash to win anyway. There is more juicy bits of lore left on Timber Hearth. I am way too lazy for that. Well, now we wait for the sand to deplete. This is by far the worst part about the game, by the way, is the sand stuff. Once the sand stuff disappears, it's cool. Everything after that sucks. Also, wait, autopilot, hello, let's go. Still really cool planet design. Oh, I agree. I just think they, d they shouldn't time gate stuff based on the sand because in a looping game, if you have a time gate, you hit it like 10 times. You hit it over and over and over, right? So that's your problem. You can do other stuff while the sand flows. Uh, I don't think we have anything we want to do while we wait for the sand. Like we're literally just waiting for the sand. Have you talked to the other travelers after all the info you have so far? The only one I can imagine is Giant's Deep Guy. He's one. Um, Giant's Deep Guy. We haven't talked to him in a long time. But I don't think he cared. We talked. We told him three things. He just didn't give a shit. We can also still explore the planets we haven't been to yet, like the Volcano Moon. We've never been to the Volcano Moon. Right? But there's probably some cool stuff. Tony, I don't know if we figured that out or if we did, I don't remember. It's been like four days. Have you been on the quantum moon? Yeah, we, we completed all the quantum moon stuff. It's cool. You can tell ground control about Feldspar. Oh, that makes sense. But Feldspar told you not to tell him. Yeah, I know. But you could just be a dick and tell him if you wanted. If you're in a time loop. Tell him whatever you want and see what happens. Okay. So let's look around, right? This was the sun station. We've already been to the sun. Right? We've been through... We've been to the sun station. And apparently I need to get most importantly to the mask room, which is somewhere on this planet, which I assume is probably implying it's a teleporter because Ash Twin Project, the entire project is just a series of teleporting towers. That's the whole point where it links everything in the universe or not universe, but you know what I mean? So we have the sun, which went to the sun station didn't really do much, that sun station, but it existed. Oh, hello, sand. That's not what the project is. The Ash Twin project is a 22-minute loop. No, 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 no. Uh, if I remember correctly, one of those is the Ember Twin, and the other one is the Ash Twin. The Ash Twin project that they talk about specifically in terms of Ash Twin, like we're just arguing words here, but the other huge part is they literally talk about how they need to make sure they have all the teleporters on this planet. The 
The helpers are for the project. Yeah, I know. That's what we're talking about. I don't know why everybody's getting so anal about this. Where are my telly boys at? Uh, I don't remember what you are at all. Pretty sure I've been here. I just don't remember you. Oh, wait a second. Would that be the duo? Wait, 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 wait. shit. I need to look at those again. Because if there's two, this is, this is the sun. Next to the sun are the Ash Twins. All right, there's two of them in orbit next to each other. If, if they all represent something, obviously. Yeah, okay, let's look around. The funny thing is, I'm pretty sure we've been here. In fact, I've, I think I've been in this building three times. This one just goes up top, right? I've been here, but I don't think I took the teleporter. Lots of spoilers in chat. Yeah, we're like very close to beating the game. So like this is probably the most spoilers you're probably going to see in this channel for a long time. Yeah, Ash Twin Project, High Energy Lab on Ember Twins with Quater, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we have two we have two different teleporters here, right? One sec, we're gonna let the sand go by and hopefully it doesn't yoink my okay, goodbye ship. Okay. Also hollow corpse. Alright, so we need to take a peek real quick. Which one's which? Um I don't actually know which one we should take. These are both right next to each other. So I'm just going to assume we're going to take this right one looks broken. So let's just take the left one. Let's take this one. Let's see where this one goes. I get baited? So I remember it has to point to the planet. I know. You have to wait until it points to Ember. That's, I am flashing my flash because I'm bored. <laughs> Not because I think it does something. <laughs> It's just, it's just, it seems to be taking a while, you know? Oh, Jesus. Okay, we gotta wait until the sand comes by. You just made a full loop. I don't think so. We don't, we're only, we're only looking up, chat, when the sand hits us, if you remember. When the sand hits us, we take this teleporter. Look, here it comes, here it comes. And now, we'll see what happens. Hi, ship. Okay. Was this all just 
a bait? Now what? Let's see. Now what happens? What is this? Yeah, I know. Departure arrival time. Okay. So that was one. Oh, fuck. What about the other one? Right? What about the other one when the sand comes by? What does this one do? But I thought this thing was broken. Fuck it. Let's try it. If I just get hit by the sun. <laughs> okay. I want to... Chat. Aren't I going to get yoinked? Oh, fuck. I'm out of oxygen. Three minutes. Cool. Fuck it. We're committed. We're committed. When the sand comes by, we're fully committed. Here it comes. I hear it. It's coming. It's coming. Go, go out there, little scout, into the abyss. Yeah, won't it suck you up? Yeah, that's why I don't understand. I know I have to be here when the sand is here and I have to look up, but w wouldn't the sand, the sand just yoink me out of the building? Hmm. I can put, like, I land my ship on it. I don't know. Why doesn't the body move? I don't know that either. It's weird. It's weird shit. I just figured it was a quantum body. I mean, he doesn't move because he has a bridge above him. Oh, wait a minute. Go in during the eye of the storm. I don't think that's how the sand works, but I'm really curious now, so I might try that. Wait, wait, wait. There's no way that works, right? Holy shit. Okay, boys, we made it to um, the Ember Twin all the way to the bottom. Welcome to the Ash Twin Project, chat, where all your spoilers will be revealed. 13 minutes ago, received data from previous cycles. Masks receiving data from probe tracking module, Giant's Deep Memory Statue, and Timber Hearth Memory Statue. I'm the one on Timber Hearth. Giant's Deep is the Gabro. Or Gabro? Gabro. Probe tracking is just the probe. Nine minutes until end of cycle. Okay. So what else? What else is here, boys? Let's look around. Holy shit, that's a lot of lore. Chat, I can break my statue and just go die if I wanted to right now. Also, this guy died, rip. Holy shit, how much fucking lore is on here? Today we finished the excavation of the Ashwin. Here in this space, we carved a little craft our most ambitious project, the Ashwin Project, powerful enough to send info back in time. We've also finished relocating all subterranean plants we met while digging. We'll need to keep our eyes on how significantly we've changed the alternate, alternated, or altered the environment. How far we've come since our experience at the high energy lab, I still can hardly believe that Rami's hypothesis was true. Hope just sent the warm core for the final tower to us from the Black Hole Forge. Now, Ash Twin could be connected to a giant's deep where Kasava is working with Avids to craft the orbital probe cannon where Phlox is sculpting the memory statues. Damn. So wait, now the Ash Twin is connected. The warp core had just sent the warp core for the final tower to us from the Black Hole Forge. So wait a second. Does that mean I don't have to teleport to Black Hole Forge because it's here instead? Oh, wait, wait. Let's look around. It was not by accident the core of our warp tower was the last to be forged. 
the cores could have been forged faster because I interrupted my work la less. The important point is we are all connected through the Ash Twin, and I am no longer needed for me mediating your disagreements. Our friends on Giant Steep tested the orbital cannon today. Malo tells me the cannon is doing well and that Avans advocates for more launch power. Avid, if anyone can coax more power from a device, Avans can, or Avans. But then if anyone can go to device and exploding, it is also likely Avans. Perhaps I should check in with the orbital probe cannon crew in the interest of safety. Would it help to remind Avans that the Mallow, that uh, Mallow, his level will be part of the Nomai aboard the cannon or is Mallow part of the problem? Flox and Daz finish the memory statues. They are truly remarkable. When the Ash Twin project succeeds or in the event it fails, the memory statues will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down. Pi and Dia have worked hard on the sun station and at last is complete. If everything goes as planned, this structure will prompt the sun's explosion, which will then supply the power the Ash Twin project requires. <gasps> oh! But the sun station can't make it explode, but it explodes in 20 minutes randomly from the supernova, which can power. Oh, shit. I didn't, I, I totally forgot about that. I totally forgot about that lore from the sun station. That's the loop. So we have to use the loop to our advantage. And it's only at the end of the cycle because we need the power from the exploding supernova sun God, that's so fucking insane. If everything goes as planned, this structure will prompt to the sun's explosion. Note, their sun station doesn't work. It doesn't prompt to the explosion at all. It just straight up doesn't work. But we are currently 200,000 years in the future. Remember they said the universe was dying and most suns are already exploding and this system was stable. So now, Keep reading before you die. Oh, no, we're fine. We're fine. We're paused during reading. So no rush. Um, but what I was saying was now we're 200,000 in the in the future. The sun is exploding no matter what. Now, suddenly their strategy can work. And remember, the Nomai died. Does this mean the Nomai were willing to kill your species in order to power their project? Uh, probably, but 200,000 years ago, maybe we were just plebs. Right? Maybe we didn't work. So... In other words, the probe station was automated. It was throwing out probes constantly at random. They had a strategy with the sun station. Remember, they had a strategy with the sun station, but the sun station doesn't work. It doesn't blow anything up. The memory statues only now activate in an event of catastrophic failure or good, right? because, and now that the supernova is finally hitting because their sun station doesn't do anything. Remember, they all died. They all died before anything. But um, what we were saying is, now the memory statues activate and give you the 20 minutes boost because now the sun by natural causes is finally going supernova, which is now getting us the minus 20 minutes. And now it all kind of makes sense, doesn't it? That's kind of cool. So like the memory statues where everyone died from the ghost matter, everyone is AFK, all of the structures are AFK, the memory statues only kick in because now the sun is going supernova and it detects catastrophic failure. So it sets in 20 minutes ago, right? And then on top of that, what else am I missing here? Where's, where's my other thing? The probe only shoots once. No, no, no. The probe only, I don't know why the probe broke on that one. We'll figure that out later maybe, but the probe has shot over 60,000 probes to finally locate the eye of the universe. We know that. The probe only shoots once, but it's, it has a lot of time loops. Oh, oh yeah, because remember, the, the probe is only shot once, but there's been over 60,000 loops because it says that it's getting data from the tro probe tracking module to upload into the statues. Holy shit. So the time loop is shooting at max power into random directions. And it's connected to a memory statue. We are connected to a memory statue, so we are also in the loop. The sun is naturally exploding 200,000 years into the future or whatever. 
You get it. You get the idea. That's cool. It's really cool. How many times have we died before we connected to a memory statue? We don't know. According to this, we're in like 60,000 something loops now. I am impressed by their mental fortitude. This was the project's most difficult task in more ways than one. And now we, as someone who has finally walked into the loop near the end, we can kind of see what's happening. With the, the sun is now naturally exploding because the universe is dying. We can use that to power because their sun station was a failure. All the Nomai died, except for the guy on the moon, because, well, he's already kind of dead. He said he was only, the quantum moon's fucking weird. That's a whole different area. Okay, what about the rest? We're nearly ready to activate the Ash Twin project. Here is what will happen. First, the sun station will prompt, will receive the order to fire at the stone, at the sun, prompting it to explode. Using, using the energy from the supernova, the Ash Twin project will send the order for the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the sun station will then again trigger the supernova to send the probe data from this cannon launch back in time. In total, each cycle created by the Ashwin project will last precisely 22 minutes, and we can end this cycle at will. So that's what we were saying earlier. Their sun station didn't work, so this only worked when the sun was going naturally supernova, which is why it's 100,000 blah 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 years, hundreds of thousands of years in the future when the universe is dying and blah blah blah, but makes sense. These words are difficult to write. The sun station did not work. However, this is the closest we have ever been. The Ashwin project is theoretically sound. We're only unable to power it. Perhaps there is another way. Suppose we redesign the sun station to generate power of that magnitude. A supernova is still the only viable option. I believe we can still find a way to create a supernova. Don't lose hope. This is easier expressed than accomplished. You can wait for the sun to explode on the natural timeline if you prefer, but you'll need to find some way to halt our aging process. Just, just create a supernova forehead. Luckily, it's easy for me. It's already happening. We're halting our research into creating a supernova. A comet has arrived into the solar system and we want to explore it. It's been a very long time since we last explored somewhere new. We're excited to welcome this comet. Imagine what knowledge might be gained there. And the comet, when they go and explore it, that's how they all died. Everything in the everything in the solar system died to the comet uh, because of the ghost matter. But they didn't know. They didn't know that. So they all died. It's a solid unlucky. And now we sit here with our sun station. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Giant Steep, Timber Hearth. Brittle hollow, probe tracking. We've seen all of these, haven't we? Haven't we done all of these before, chat? Probe tracking. I have exciting news. The Ash Twin project is almost ready to receive the probe data from the probe cannon. Remy is finishing some touches. Are you in the cannon? Well, we are. The tracking is ready to record each launch's flight trajectory and will automatically transmit all relevant data. On the other appendage, I'm not worried that the structural integrity and the moral integrity of the crew once the probe determines the location of the eye of the universe, I'll send you an alert. I have good news. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed at the heart of the Ash Twin project. I'm intrigued. Everyone in Ash Twin Pie is excited with blah, blah, blah. No, it, wait, no, it isn't. Oh, no, it isn't. Like, no, it's not ready to be installed. Is everything well at the forge? Don't worry. Poke is only nervous. The core is extraordinary and her design work is beautifully clever. The core's durability can still be improved. I need more time. Ignore her. The core is finished. And if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished too. Whoa. Murder. Capital D colon. Okay. So this person says there is an advanced warp core at the center of the Ash Twin project. Apparently. Right? We need that. We need to yoink that and bring it to the ship. Okay. Timber hearth. What's timber hearth here? My gratitude for the latest shipment. This ore should be the last we'll need for the Ash Twin project. With a protective shell built, Rami says she's ready to seal all entrances used during this construction. After she'll help inspect the barrier from the outside, which is our final safety check. 
This is exciting news. Can I offer a set of eyes for this final check? Specifically mine. If my work here is done, I'm delighted to help. Be grateful if you could. The more eyes, the better. As the smallest opening, the shell that protects the core leads to disaster. Wait, does this mean core is in like the warp core? I don't know. It's, uh, maybe it's something else. I don't think it matters too much. Or maybe it's the core of like this thing. I've installed the masks inside the Ash Twin. They look beautiful. Although I do feel as though I am being observed. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I experience blah, blah, blah. Ideally, they'll only activate once the project succeeds. They also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will. Why is that? If anything goes wrong, the masks will make us aware and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it's possible us to be permanently unaware of a problem. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. Yeah, what a horrible fate that would be, huh, chat? Wow. Okay, let's look around here. What's over, what's over here? What is this? Artificial gravity control. We can turn it off? What is this? Let's turn this thing on. Oh, is that why we want this off? So I can fly into that? Wait, 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 wait. The warp core. Wait, warp core, chat. Isn't this the warp core? Wait, 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 wait. Chat, if I pull out this warp core, well, don't I stop the loop and I can just potentially kill everyone? Oh my God, that's scary. I can permadeath, can I? Oh my God. Isn't that permadeath? Yes. Oh, that's terrifying. If I pull out the warp core, we... Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. We have to we have to wait until the next loop. We don't have enough time to bring this to Dark Bramble. There's not enough time. Oh, that's so scary. That's so scary. Holy shit. We have to do we have to do another loop and we have to do it brand new. We come straight here, we pull the core, we go straight to the bramble, we have the coordinates. Okay, okay. So how are we gonna do this? So, first thing, we fly directly from Timber Hearth straight to Ash Twin. We take the second teleporter with no ceiling, straight here. We yoink the warp core, which ends the loop. We are, the loops are fucked, the statues are fucked, everything's fucked. And on top of that, we have to make sure we keep our ship away from the sand. Because otherwise, it's not going to work. Because we need the sand in order to then... We need our ship, sorry, in order to then fly to the Dark Bramble. We need to make it by the fishies. We need to go straight in to the end. And we plug in the new warp core and the coordinates. And the coordinates are the password thingy, which I'm pretty sure it's the only thing that makes sense. Holy shit. Is that the end of the game? That's like basically it. Have you solved the puzzle at the ship? The the ship thing looks exactly like the coordinates from the from the thing. That's that's all I can that's all I can think, right? Um Are you sure you can find the vessel? We found the vessel before. Yes, we can. Okay, Angel Morphic, thank you for gifting those two subs. Dart me, Crazy Joker, Connor, Vox, Big D, Syntax, Eins. Thank you so much, everybody. All right, I need to use the bathroom. I need to use the bathroom really quick.
Okay, I am back. So there are two issues I have with the plan. The first one is Dark Bramble. We need to make sure that we're going to Dark Bramble. And what's it called? Uh, we have to follow the entire story at the Dark Bramble because we need to get to the vessel. Uh, the second one is if we die to fishies, we're fucked. So we, the only thing that we absolutely need is a screenshot of the coordinates. If we take a screenshot of the coordinates, I think we can rush the rest of the game. Yeah, screenshot the coordinates for your ship log. Yeah, so that way if we die, we could, we're still not fucked. Otherwise, you have to do the whole game again, right? Ship log covers both issues. No, 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 because if you pull out the warp core, your ship log doesn't do anything. Your ship log doesn't get wiped. Doesn't your ship log supposed to get wiped? Why wouldn't it get wiped? Oh, they they probably didn't make it wipe from the ship log specifically because it would be too hardcore. But that's what I thought it was. I thought like the moment you pull out this one right here, the moment you pull out this warp core, it's permadeath and you'd have to re restart the entire game if you die. I thought that's what it was. I mean, I, I get the idea now. But holy shit. Okay. We're going. You guys ready? It would be cool with permadeath. That's what, it, I mean, you kind of think it is. Like, that's what you think it is, right? It's not like your ship log can get any info. Stop and look around. Wait. Okay. You didn't check. What I, what I not see? What I not see? Or, yeah, you know, I never thought about that. Or we just pull the core and just die, forehead. Just end the loop and just die and the universe dies and that's it. That's the end. That's the that's the bullshit ending. What about going to the Black Hole Forge? We don't need to go to the Black Hole Forge. It gives you the credits. There's no way. Oh, that's funny. There's we don't need to go to the Black Hole Forge. We need to go to Black Hole Forge to get the warp core, but we can get a warp core here instead. You missed some rings. OK, let's look around. Let's look around real quick. Let's turn on gravity again and look around. You walked right by it? Oh wait, did I? This thing? Yeah, there's nothing here. Pull the ball down and then look for what? Yeah, I'm just getting baited by chat. It's there's nothing here. You're blind? Actually blind. What do you mean? This isn't anything. Next to the ball. Oh! You're about to access the core while the Ash Twin Project is active. Removing the core will disable the Ash Twin Project. Mock and W. Wait, was there no one more? All right, that's it, right? Holy shit. Okay. Is it time to do the last loop chat of the entire game? Fuck. All right, we need it. We need to know exactly what we're doing. Pull the plug for another ending. Just pull out the cord and just jump off. Yeah. Angel Morphic, thank you for those five gifted, wait, six, seven gifted subs? I don't even know when I was AFK. Thank you so much, man. Squishy Noodle, thank you for 10 months too. Okay, do a test run without the core? No, we don't need to because all we have to do is take a screenshot of the coordinates with the vessel or with the ship. 
And then we're good. We're good. Tell ground control about Feldspar. Feldspar told us not to tell him, so nah, we're good. Question. Question. Where you're right. I actually just now remembered that. We have not tested where the dark bramble teleporter goes. Oh, fuck. We could take that teleporter instead of flying there, but I have no idea where it goes. Hmm. Is there even a dark bramble teleporter on Ash Twin? I don't, I don't even know if there is one. There is no one? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. <sighs> Last loop, boys. Let's take a peek at the uh, ship log right before we head out. What are we missing? We've learned about the Ashwin Project. What is left at all in this game? We know everything except you. Quantum signal coming. Didn't I scan you, motherfucker? All right, one sec. We have to scan this guy. It's too annoying. This is literally the only question mark left is that is this one guy. It's just him. This one guy. Quantum signal. Fucking little rebel. What about the Black Hole Forge? Oh, right, the Black Hole Forge. Black Hole Forge. Hmm. Shit. Should we do the Black Hole? Do, do we care about 100%ing? What's the purpose of going for Black Hole Forge when we already have the warp core? Let's do it. Okay. Why not? Okay, so let's let's do Quantum Signal, then Black Hole Forge, and then Endgame. We, the Black Hole Forge is fucking legit, chat. It's really cool looking. Okay. So first things first, right? Wait. I thought I already scanned here for the quantum. You know, I thought I already scanned uh, Timber North for the quantum. There's two of them on Timber. Oh, what the fuck? Really? Let me look around. Where art thou? That's the museum shirt. We've already scanned that one. Unknown. Unknown. Monka W. All right, let's look around. Unknown, where you at? You just saw it rage. Really? Is it in the water? It's a museum. That's grass. It's underneath. Holy shit, did I just get owned by something? What the fuck? What the fuck just happened? Cool. You landed on the geyser. Fuck. Imagine dying like that in the last loop. Oh my God, can you imagine? Museum over the yonder. Unknown. Okay. Good thing I was just acting. Oh, thank God. Yeah, I would never be that fucking dumb. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Suit. Suit's on. Refuel. Quantum man. There you are. Grove shard. Saved.
Perfect. Okay. Uh, let's see next. Next up is Black Hole Forge chat. So to the Ash Twin. And look for Brittle Hollow. Why don't you ride that shard? Meh. Hollow's Lantern. You might have to lift the forge before you teleport to it. I was kind of thinking the same thing. But I don't even know, like, how the hell are you supposed to do that? Like, do I seriously go to Brittle Hollow, drop it in, and then fly away? Teleport to the Black Hole Forge and hope for the best? Is that, like, all you can do? Yes? Oh, my God. I don't remember anything about this. Oh, God. Brittle Hollow was a shit fest of, like, the highest proportions. I was so bad at Brittle Hollow. At least it's not hard to get to. I don't remember. <laughs> I just remember there was like a quick way in somewhere. It was at one of the poles, I think, was one of the quick ways in. Um, I don't think it was from this side. This side was the quantum knowledge. Well, wait a second. There used to be the, the bowl. Well, let me remember this, right? There is the water path. Right? The water path might be legit. Let me find the water real quick. Wait, is this North Pole or South Pole? I still don't even recognize. This is the wrong one. Red is North. Okay. Here we go, here we go. All right, all right. Water path, there it is. Perfection. Grab the suit, refuel, head on out. Hey, water path, how you doing? Okie dokie. It's hard to keep up this game. This one streamer screwed. Kind of. This this game is just wild. It's just completely insane. Um, okay. Black hole forge control. It's actually right here. Isu. Okay. Activate it. Bring it down. Bring it up. Okay. It's going up. Now we take the teleporter. Now that we pop the controls, right? Now we take the teleporter. Go back up. The Lazo man, they were three months. The lie. Figure for the four months. Okay. That was fast. That was really fast. That was easy with the shortcut. That was perfect. Okay. Oh, no, 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 don't fall, don't fall. Okay. Now we head to Ash Twin and look for the Brittle Hollow teleporter and teleport to the Void Forge. Uh, I just went a giant. Oh my God. Sorry if I made you dizzy. World record pace pog. I'm insane. Okay, Brittle Hollow is down. And next up is Ash Twin. Let's get it. Oops. Why do you have no sense of direction? I don't know. I really don't. Can you explain the gameplay loop of this game to understand for me to understand um so pretty much you're you're this you're in a space area and your sun goes supernova every 20 minutes and you're stuck in a time loop and you explore to figure out why you are stuck in a time loop and figure out what is going on that is the game what happens if you fly into the sun uh you die i definitely haven't flown into the sun or anything definitely not 
Shout out to the sun station. Okie dokie. Let's take a little peek. Okay. So that's the teleporter we're going to need for the last loop. Uh, this is the sun station teleporter, which we don't care about. Uh, where's the rest at, chat? Let's keep, let's keep on moving. Hey, sand dude. If you do fly into the sun, it was definitely on purpose. Yeah, definitely. I was just acting to fly into the sun. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Okay, which one is this? Uh, don't remember, actually. That one might be legit. Okay, I think we need to wait for the sand to come out a little bit more. Teleporters uncover in the order of the planets. Yeah, I figured that out pretty fast. Like, the sun comes up first, and then, you know, the twins come up next. It's kind of cool, actually. I like it. Land on a landing pad so it doesn't steal your ship. Eh. Yeah. Eh. You don't need to worry about it too much. You just need to uh, fly at the sides. If you stay outside of the side, it only goes to the equator, so you're fine. Okay. I think this next teleporter is the one we want. Check logs for purple question mark. It's the black hole forge. We already know what it is. It's here. What if your ship gets yoinked? Then it's GG. You don't, you don't need to worry about your ship getting yoinked. You can park it right here. You're fine. Oops. Did you do the quantum stuff? Yeah, we did. Which is really cool, by the way. Okay. See, like, if we look at our ship log real quick. Yep. Quantum Grove is out. All that's left. We have one question mark left, chat. Just the black hole forge. It's the only thing we don't know in this game before we go and, like, actually try and do the ending. Kenny Logan, seven months. Thank you, man. I'm glad you like the game. I've been playing Outer Wilds this whole time. Yes, this whole stream has been all Outer Wilds. I think this is Timber Hearth. I think so, too. Um, if I could look inside and see trees, it's Timber Hearth. Yeah, that's Timber Hearth teleporter. Okay. Which means maybe this one is the right one, perhaps. Well, if I just come over to the side, right? I can just open my map. Which one are we looking for? We're currently for, looking for the Brittle Hollow one. Um, Timber Hearth. Yeah, Brittle Hollow is the next one. So the first one is Ash Twins. So it goes Sun, Ash Twins, Timber Hearth, Brittle Hollow. And then it'll go Giants Deep. And then whatever the sixth one is, I can't remember. Dark Bramble. But I don't think it has one to the Dark Bramble. So the last one is just Giants Deep. But we're looking for Brittle Hollow right now. Have fun, Red Clone. And so we've established that the one before this one was the uh, Timber Hearth one. So I think that one is the one we have to go into to teleport. Yeah, let's look at this one real quick. Or maybe this one's the last one. That one's Giant Steep. That one looks like a cyclone. So we'll park right next to so when we see the sand coming, we're going to park right outside of its path. So that way we're not on the equator. I'm pretty sure that, like we see the left, right. I think we're looking at the equator right now. I'm pretty sure if I just park up here, there's no way it's going to see me. But hey, we just want to make sure we have our ship for later. Okay, there's a sand. It's going to come over. So far, I really, really love this game. It's like, it's an amazing game. I've almost beaten it. But this is the worst part. Waiting for sand. I would estimate that I've spent at least half an hour of this game trying to figure out puzzles relating to sand. That's kind of sucks. Okay, 
Are you uncovered? Oh, don't tell me there's ghost matter in here. I'm going to be mad. You know, we're good. One warp core fresh from the black hole forge. Blah, blah, blah. This is the one that goes to the black hole forge. We've already we've already read all this before. Okay. So where are we teleporting from? Right here. Time to teleport, boys. Looking for the black hole forge. It's the flirting message. Yeah, it is. Here we go. We're in. Grown. 15 months. I'm 15 years old. Congrats. We went back in time. Hog. Black hole forge to the left, 30 meters. Wait, over here? Really? Oh, fuck. Are you serious? Don't do me like this game. Are you fucking serious right now? Can I make it up? I waited so long for this. Don't, don't, don't fuck me over, game. I can make it back. I can make it back. I think I can make it. I think I can make it. Straight up. I think I have to go straight up. Otherwise, we have to restart. Are we fully committing to this? Here we go. Here we go. Wh which one's closest? Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. Oh my god, saved. Okay, we do not fucking fly. We do not fly under any circumstances because the black hole is right there. Black hole forge left 30 minutes. 30 meters. 30 minutes, by the way. We do not jump. We do nothing but chill. Holy shit, this looks insane. Pick up the Ash Twin Projection Stone. Sure, why not? We can look around. I have good news. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed at the heart of the Ash Twin Project. Everyone's excited to see it. Blah, blah. We've already read all this. And the Ash Twin Project, if we look, it's the masks. Yep. We know everything. Clear and root. Finally tune the adjustments on each pair of warp cores. I finished them. I've tuned the first pair to activate when its warp tower is aligned with Brittle Hollow. This will drastically speed up future deliveries to the Ash Twin. It looks like the towers on Ash Twin respond to only five alignments when there are six warp receivers. Is that a mistake? No, that's correct. Have you seen the schematic in the at in a high energy lab? It depicts which tower is meant to align with which astral body. <laughs> God damn it. Where am I taking this first pair of warp cores and where am I taking the re remaining pairs when they are ready? The white hole cores are for the six warp receivers, which will be on all different astral bodies. Euro can give you their exact locations. That's how we teleport. They drop the white core receivers and pair them to the black hole ones. The white ones go on each of the planets and all the black hole ones go on to Ash Twin to speed up deliveries or whatever. See, all the black hole cores go to Ash Twin. My gratitude in that case. Poke Clary, I'm ready, leaving for direct delivery. I'll send Euro your regards. Poke, I'll send the forge. I'll return to the forge shortly. I'm going to catch up to the root and help him deliver the first core to Ash Twin. Just be, make sure Yaro receives it. That's it. I think that's 100%. Doug says, what is this game? I have no idea what's going on. I would recommend watching each VOD because we're about to, we're about to finish the game and it's uh, crazy, I guess. It's not 100%. Uh, so 100% lol, not even close. All right, look, look. 100% my ship log, okay? Merc, thank you for 13 months. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Now what do we do? Now what do we do? Oh, is it the end loop? Oh, I'm scared. Okay. Hey, Seagull, you should B-hop. You'll go faster. Hey, look, that's how you die. I don't want to do that.
Plan it out. Yeah, we gotta plan this out, chat. We gotta plan this out. Alright, one sec. Let's notepad this. Notepad this, chat. We gotta notepad. Alright, look. The last loop. One path remains. Okay. So the first step is, right? Ash twin. Ash twin. Right? So wait. Zero. Take picture of coordinates from ship log. Let's do that now. Let's do that now while we're here. Not using paint Dan's game. <laughs> okay. So wait, I'm on the Ash Twin, right? Here we go, here we go. Perfect. Okay, where's my ship? 70 meters. Let's go get it. Take a screenshot of the ship log real quick. Boom. Look at that. 100%. My ship log, chat. Boom. Okay, where's the eye of the universe coordinates? We gotta look for this. The ocean depths, been there, resident sleeper, eye signal locator. Probe tracking module. Oh, there it is. Screenshot. Boom. So those are the coordinates marking the eye of the universe, which oh, this is what we need to get into the vessel in the dark bramble. Okay. So let's take a quick screenshot. Okay. Okay. We're going to uh, uh, drop this in some paint real quick. All right. All right. Sound good. All right. Just a, a backup. We'll check. Okay. So there's a quick Easter egg on Ember at the high energy lab. It takes less than five minutes. If you want to do it, it is very worth it. Wait, really? The high energy lab. Ember. We, we did it. I think we did everything at high energy lab. I think. Do it before you die. You already did it. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't know. It was, I didn't know it was an Easter egg, but I think I already went to the high energy lab, didn't I? I explored around. Anyway, take coordinates. All right. Let's say uh, check. A little check. Okay. One. Ash twin project. Grab core. End loop of death. Two. Head to dark bramble. Mark vessel location from ship log. Right? I have to mark the vessel's location from ship log. Can I do that right now? Bramble, 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 bramble. Where are you at? The vessel. Mark location on HUD. The vessel. Perfect. Which means we head into red abyss of fishies. Don't die or permadeath. Get into vessel. Plug in warp core. This is where we're at, boys. This is where we're at. I think that's it. This is it. The end of the game. Monka W. Oh, there, someone said the, the Easter egg is the, you pull out the warp core. Oh, when you're duplicating it, you pull it out before the second one? Okay. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Now what? Uh, are you guys ready? I'm scared. Are you ready to do this chat? Let's fly into the sun for luck. Yeah, sure. Let's do it real quick. Well, wait a minute. 
there's one thing we haven't done in this game, chat. Someone just said it in chat, and I agree, actually. But one thing we haven't done is I've never actually flown into the volcano moon. Let's go check that out real quick. What's on the volcano moon? Death? Probably. Probably death. But we haven't been there and I want to see what's up. It's just it's just volcanoes. It's just it's just volcanoes. That's it. There's just, there's just nothing else. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, no, no, no. There's something in there. Oh, there's something in there. Holy shit, there's something inside that volcano. You see that? There's something in there. Oh shit. Avoid, avoid, avoid. Land on it, land on it, land on it. We saw a location. We saw something in there. All right. Wait for this guy to spew out his lava again and we fly in, boys. Oh, fuck. Too close. Too close. We're fine. We're fine. Perfectly timed. Fucking calculated, dude. All right. We're in. 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 What's it? What is this? Timber hearth projection stone. Friends in the Timber Hearth Mines, can you send more ore samples to us for testing? We'll send more samples to Hollow's Lantern immediately. My gratitude, the last ore you sent survives the longest in direct heat out of any we've tested. We're searching for more treatment to improve durability. Our forge has already burned through everything you've sent. You must be fired up about those tests. Yes, the experiments have kindled our curiosity. Also, it's fun throwing stuff into lava. Oh, okay, dude. Really? So this is the lore on timber that we were missing, right? This is the only thing we haven't gone to at Timber Hearth, I think. Because there's a mine down here. Wait, didn't I make it here before at one point? I feel like I did, but I'm not sure. I think I've been there, but I don't remember coming here. All right, time to jump in the lava chat. Well, actually, yeah, jumping in the lava for good luck. See ya. Ooh, that was cool. It's like swimming. Seagull, can you explain the orbital probe? It's the only thing I've missed. Uh, essentially, the orbital probe is only ever firing one probe, but it is connected to the statue. And therefore, the statue records where it goes in the data, and the next time loop, it realigns to a new one and fires once and dies and repeat. Okay, this is the last loop. Holy shit, last loop. This is it. Oh, it's weird. Ash Twin. We go to Ash Twin first. Don't die with the suit. Suit up. Why is it last? We're about to beat the game. Also, heavy spoilers. Is that explosion above Giant's Deep the probe cannon? Yes. They, it is the probe cannon dying when it shoots. Wait, I just realized that a speedrunner is probably doing this, right? If you memorize the screenshot or whatever. Oh, shit. Am I dead? Oh, shit. Am I dead? Oh, shit. No, 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 last loop, by the way. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. All right. One more loop. One more loop. Okay, can't a speedrunner just speedrun this whole game in like two seconds if they know all this, right? What's to stop someone from just instantly doing that? 
There's more inside Hollow's Lantern. I don't think I care enough. I really don't. Still go practice the coordinates so you don't fuck up on the last loop. Uh, whatever. I don't know how to practice the coordinates without going in Dark Bramble, and there's ain't no way I'm getting past those fishies without dying. Look, this time we're going a little slower, all right? You can also die before touching the statue. Oh, yeah, you probably really could. Eagle, the current speed run of this game is 19 minutes. Mm, isn't that scary? That's close to, you know, not making it right the 20 minutes chat they're so slow chat if you think about it, i do this game in 20 minutes i'm doing this game in 20 minutes right now what a noob all right where where is the equator They have to do the opening. I I'm just memeing, dude. I know what you mean, though. All right. Now we just uh, we're we're chilling out, playing the waiting game, chat. This is uh, you no, know, it's all about that having that thrilling gameplay experience, chat. Maybe it's a perfect time to eat a sandwich. Remember step five. Wait, what was step five? Let me check. Don't die. Thank you, chat. Find the equator. Hope not. I don't want to get sucked up. This is now an eye of the universe waiting room. True. You will die to the fish, chat, lol, w. No, I won't. I'm not going to die to the fishies. Let's listen to some beautiful music. I agree, chat. Let's get some music in here. Where's Banjo guy? Feels good, man. Hey, Quantum Moon, what are you doing over there? look around boys let's look around i think this is the duo right here hey look there's the sun right this is gonna be the duo all right let's land over here this is it holy fuck i should have had a sandwich earlier is it faster to fly to dark ramble yes apparently there is no teleport Mark the location of vessel. May as well do it now. May as well do it now. I agree. Wait. Hey. Hey. We were 100% until you showed up. All right. Fuck it. I'm not doing it. We're in the last loop now, boys. 
We did this to ourselves. I know. Now we have to do it. Oh my God. Chat, do we really want to do this? No, my minds. Seagull, every exclamation point has something you missed. Wait, really? Oh my God. Really? Fuck that. No, that guy's just lying. Wait, what? Is he actually just trolling me? There's no way. Exclamation point just means unread. Wait, really? Oh, thank God. Oh. God, that actually got me. Okay. But we're still not 100%. Do we go or not? No, my minds or not? Wait, maybe we should just ask chat. Let's do a poll. Let's do a poll. Place your bets, chat. Place your bets. <laughs> Everyone's just gonna be like, fuck the minds. No one cares. So wait a second. Time is paused during the ship log, right? Wait, half of you actually want me to go to the mines? That's that's disgusting. God, if half of you want me to go to the mines, I feel like I should do it because uh, you guys must have OCD. Yeah, I, I have to help them. Oh my God. I'm like... We'll help them by not doing it. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Let's just, we don't care. We just don't care. I can't do it. Wait, wait. Chat, can you imagine you reach the end of your time loop and then you spend it? You're like, no, no, let's just go one more loop, guys. You just go read about some goddamn rocks. Oh, fuck. Wait. Did I mess up the timing or is it going to be the next one? Wait, are you coming at me? Oh, you're going the right way. Mark the vessel. We will once we're closer to Bramble. Don't worry about it right now. Okay, it's the next one shot. We're in. chat we're watching paint dry but instead of paint it's sand and sand is already dry and we're just going down cool this is the world's slowest elevator true chat true the opposite of quicksand <laughs> Almost there. Almost there. Put on the music again. True. So we wait until half this hand goes, right? Made it. Okay, we're in, boys. We're in. Here comes the sand. Perfect timing. 
So we wait halfway and then we peek. We wait until it's halfway over us, then we peek. Here it comes, boys. Here it comes. It's over us, and now we peek. We're in. The last loop has arrived. Walk straight to the end. Pass all lore. Turn off gravity. Oh my God, I'm actually gonna do it. I'm actually gonna do it, unbelievable. Yoink, wait, uh, yoink. Okay, there we go, perfect. Okay, how do we get out of here? Do I remember? Oh fuck, how do I get out? Okay, here it is, here it is. Chat, now we can't die or else we permadeath. We can't die or we permadeath, okay? I swear to God, chat, what if you, at some point, chat, what if you actually perfectly get out of that? And as the sand is coming over you, right as you're doing this part, and now you're permadeath. Okay, mark, mark it on the ship log. Mark the vessel on the ship log, chat. Why is it starting now? Is it just trolling? Oh God. Because it's the end of the loop. It's just the end of the loop music. Not not the sun exploding music. It's just the end. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. 22 minutes or else we all die for reals. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Uh, autopilot autopilot maybe not that fast maybe not that fast autopilot 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 <laughs> oh okay board autopilot we're going in all right, all right, all right. here we go here we go <laughs> too fast too fast Fuck. Okay, there's another seed entrance right here. We're fine. This is fine. All right, chat. Fully cautioned. We need to have massive levels of caution right now, okay? What's in front of us, boys? Massive levels of caution. Massive levels of caution, okay? Uh, that's one right there. Uh, cool. Which one do... We Don't I have to go to red no matter what? Wait, 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 this fucking blows. Why is it 1.4 meters? Wait, fuck this. Fuck this side. Wait, 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 wait. Is it all going to be the same or not? I want to know. Okay, cool. Okay, to red, chat to red. Okay, here we go. Holy shit, there was one right there. Okay, okay. What if there's a fishy camping at red? Okay, chap, okay. All right, line it up, line it up, line it up, line it up. How are we supposed to live? See, there's a fish behind you. Yeah, fuck up. Go fast. You did it last time. 
Okay, we coast. We coast. You guys ready? We're going in. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Let Jesus take the wheel. Let Jesus take the wheel. Holy fuck, I'm going so fast. Death, 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 death. Hands off the keyboard. Hands off the keyboard. Certain death. Certain. I'm just dead. We don't know if we're outside of aggro range. I'm not, I'm not gonna touch it. We still don't know. You wait until we're next to the fishies, then we'll figure it out. Or the eggs, sorry. You wait until we're next to the eggs. I think we're pretty close. No, we can still hear him. We can still hear him. We still hear him. We don't throw this. We don't throw this. 22 minutes, though. This is like 20 seconds of waiting. It's worth. Okay. One more towards Vessel. Is that one right next to me on my left? Okay. Grab the scout. Right there. That's the one we got to get into right there. Okay. There's one right there. We can't move. We can't move. We're good. We're good. We're going to have to make small adjustments to get in the hole, though. Wait until we're closer. Did he just hear that? There's no way you just heard that. I tapped it once. There's no fucking way. Easy, easy, easy. We're fine. Perfection. All right, now to the vessel. If I remember correctly, there's nothing at the vessel either, but I'm just going to take one more. Anything at the vessel? Nothing here. Nothing here. We're good. Oh. Okay. Align it. Roll up. What was step five? I don't remember. Step five. Don't die. Okay, got the suit. Suit's in. Time to go. We have the core. Wait, too far? We walked by. No, 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 no. My lack of direction. Oxygen refilled. Perfect. Perfect. Plug it in. Plug it in. Holy shit. We're in. Okay. It's time to activate it. Light us up. Okay. 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 Um, 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 wait, how am I supposed to know which one I'm plugging in? Wait to the screenshot to the screenshot. Uh, Wait, I coordinates. Do 
You did it wrong? Wait, what? What do you mean I did it wrong? Is it that one? Really? Fuck! How do I wait it? <laughs> You're right. Got it. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> We're fine. This is fine. We're in. Holy shit, we're in. It's time. Ugh. Holy shit. How do I get into that? Do I just fly in and hope for the best? That's it. That's it right there. How do I get into it? Use the ball. What? This thing? Let me see this. Why does I do this? Holy shit. We're in. This is the eye of the universe. Holy shit. Fucking 20 hours later, I made it. What's gravity? 2.4. I'm fat as fuck. What? I can lose connection to the scout? It's gone. I can't pull it back. I it's not what The scout is actually gone. I can't there's Uh I mean, I guess we're going in, boys. The scout revealed to us that we don't know anything. So we are just walking. Uh Holy Holy shit, the lightning with the trees. Oh, fuck. Why did I throw it, dude? I could have taken pictures of them so that way I would be able to see. I don't have my scout to see anything. Or take pictures to keep them here from quantum. <gasps> Holy shit. What is this? Change the photo mode. Chat, you can't. Photo mode doesn't work. Because you don't have a scout. It's just it's just gone. Oh my god. What the fuck? Chat. Are we fucking jumping into the universe's asshole right now are you guys ready or what are we doing it fuck it dude wait what seagull it's called the eye oh right right, right. sorry sorry i'm too thick maybe i'll go this way let's go this way we gotta go upwards maybe Where are we going, boys? 
Where are we going? Murph! Murph! Uh, uh, Murph? Murph? What the fuck? Adderwild Ventures was formed at the end of the universe. To explore a solar system at the end of the universe. The Nomai never got to see it. A Hearthian was able to see the eye of the... The Nomai never got to see it from the cells, but thanks to their efforts and technology, a Hearthian was able to reach the eye of the universe. Adderwild Ventures was founded to explore a solar system at the end of the universe. What the fuck? Holy shit. It's still gone, by the way. The Nomai who came to our solar system were following the signal from the eye of the universe. They perished when the interloper arrived, bringing with them the deadly substance we called ghost matter that flooded the entire solar system almost instantly and without warning. Peace scout. Of all the life forms who will perish in the oncoming death of the universe, we will miss anglerfish the least. Wow, any truers. Definitely true. At the end of its lifespan, our sun collapsed under its own gravity and exploded in a violent supernova. Okay. Yes. Anything else on this floor we're missing? No my following an eye. The interloper arrived. We knew that. We don't like fishies. The sun explodes. Is it time to go up? Whoa. Observe. Ah! Does it need someone to observe because it's all quantum? Supernova. Wait, does it want me to actually just fly around? Oh, dude, what the fuck? Murph. Are these all quantum trees chat? There's the normal trees, I think. But it's like a multiverse, right? We saw all these, we're seeing all these universes. Let's jump into this one, chat. Let's see what happens. <gasps> Wait, they're all exploding. Oh no, I, I broke it. Scout. I actually killed the whole multiverse. I just killed like trillions and trillions and gazillions of people by bumping into a small orb of light. Wait, now I'm the only one, right? 
I can flash like this. Uh, who's on my frequency out here? Was that me? That was just me. That was me. And now I see a tree. I am a tree. I did this. <gasps> just flashlight it over and over. Now I am logs. Hell yeah, brother. Shit. Ooh, Ew, crunchy. Burning the last marshmallow in the universe. Cool. There we go. That one's good enough. Okay, now what? God, my shadow freaked the fuck out of me. Look at the size of that thing. Do you like gooey or crunchy marshmallows? Why was if I just fly straight up? Esker! Do you hear music? Is anyone in the air? See it. Oh, no, no, I need that. Aren't you forgetting someone? Hey, dude. It's uh not quite time yet. I'm pretty sure we'll need the others for the next for this next part. We'll need you know everyone. No rush. Take your time. It might not even exist here. Feldspar, what are you doing out here? Are you serious? Why? Why are you jump scaring me? Oh my god. The jelly boys. Classic feldspar. Wait, what? So get everyone. Okay. Now we got you. Hatchling, you found me. Nice to have a company around a campfire, isn't it? Go on, get the others. Don't want them to miss out. I don't think I've even met everyone, by the way. <laughs> what the fuck? I 
I don't get this. Pointing upwards. How am I supposed to get to it? Oh, fuck. out there uh ship we're going a little fast ship 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 oh fuck hey Is this my mask? Oh wait, was that the that was the mask that fell down, wasn't it? Is he the it, is it at the moon? Wasn't that the moon guy? Is he here now? Wait, I have to go look. I have to see if he's here before we keep going. Is the moon guy actually here? Slate him! Hypothesis. Everyone must be here before we can begin. Once they arrive, we'll be ready for the next step. I'm glad you remembered me. Oh. How does work? Now he's back. Who's left? I didn't get him, I think. What the fuck? Across old bark. In the ancient glade. It's always dark. Who's next? Holy shit, am I still in the air? Wait, where do all gravity bros go? Here we go. I need to get this guy. Telescope man. Oh. I think the band's back together, chat. I think we got them all. What do you say then? Should I get out the old harmonica? Yes. Here goes nothing. Time to start the music? Yes. This should be cool. A conscious observer has entered the eye. I wonder what happens now. 
Is it time to find out? Not yet. And I will wait until you're ready to know the answer. Should I begin? Yes. You gotta do my best. Yes. Yes. Oh my god. It's all just the same music. Look at Selenium. Is Selenium a part of it or not? Should I hit it? It's time to observe, boys. It's time to observe. This song is new, but I am honored to be a part of it. Holy shit. What if I just don't observe? Um, Selenum? I think we've reached the end of the journey. All that remains is to collapse the innumerable, innumerable possibil possibilities inside us. Are you ready to learn what comes next? Not yet. It's tempting to linger in this moment while every possibility still exists. But unless they are collapsed by an observer, they will never be more than possibilities. What does Gabra say? I'll tell you what, this has been really fun. I got to make, oh, I got to help make something pretty cool. I got no complaints. I mean, not me exactly, but close enough. It's the kind of thing that makes you glad you stopped to smell the pine trees along the way, you know? Feldspar. You cut it a little close, don't you think? It worked out all right in the end, I suppose. I hope there are beasties in the next one. Wow, how long has it been since I got to make music with everyone around a campfire? I'm really happy we're all here. Aww. Even if it's over now, I had a good time learning. But I think the rules are about to change. I learned a lot by the end of everything. The past of the, is the past. But that's, you know... That's okay. It's never really gone completely. The future is always built on the past, even if we don't won't get to see it. Still, it's uh, time for something new now. Say it, boys. Am I ready to learn what comes next? Yes. I admire your curiosity, friend. Let's find out together. Time to collapse this shit. Let's get it. Look at it flashing. Am I supposed to jump in it? I'm scared. Oh, God. Here we go. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Big bang time, boys. Did we just recreate the universe? You're damn right we did. See, there's also stuff in the credits. We will listen. There's only one picture at the after end credits. Okay. Oh, man. Good fucking game.
absolute masterpiece of a game. Really, really good. Last loop, I swallowed my saliva in remembrance of the first one in this strange universe. This beautiful, yet more the journey will not be forgotten as we have handled <laughs> alien technology and challenged the fabric of time to reach our destiny. Feels strong, man. <laughs> That's awesome. Holy shit. So we actually... That's so cool, man. That's awesome. So, save this VOD as highlights. I will. What? This was such a good game. Like, I know a lot of... Like, obviously, it's kind of spoiled if you've watched the end. But I will say you should definitely play this game if you haven't, chat. It is amazing. Stay? I will. Stay, I will stay for end of credits. Someone said, you know, a little bit of something after credits. So I, we're chilling. I can't... I'm very, very impressed by this game. Uh, I think a lot of indie developers these days are taking, like, bigger risks with games and making more interesting games than most companies just because they have the ability to create and make those risks. And it's like, this is this is nuts, man. It's so cool. This gave me, like, an, it, it gave me, like, a Subnautica vibe in a lot of ways. Not because it's underwater or anything. It's just because that feeling of exploration you get, it's like you're dropped onto an alien. I mean, obviously, you kind of are an alien in this game, right? You're dropped into a scenario you don't know anything that's happening you just wander around and then suddenly you blow up to a sun you're like what seagull this was in development for seven years it initially started as a student project damn And you, you just figure everything out as you play. That's awesome. crap so cool man someone in chat said this game made me, feel, made me feel as if I was a kid playing games again I didn't know that was going to be able to be done because I'm 30 now <laughs> music is incredible <laughs> boomer little w no, no, it's just, it really does kind of, it gave me that feeling of exploration stuff again. It was amazing. There it is. Thank you for playing. Thank you for making it. Holy crap. I didn't think I had no idea this game would be actually this good. I had no idea. This game was someone's thesis pog you. <laughs> oh.
It's so pretty. It kind of looks like ghost map. The scout? Yeah, that won't- wait. Did the scout make it to the new universe? Wait. That's why we couldn't call it back. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my God. Wait, was it on the menu the whole time? Oh my God, I just now made that connection. Holy shit, that's mind blowing. I fucking love this game, this is amazing. Salty Llama, Wilbur boys, thank you for the one year Salty. Oh man, that's sick. That was so cool. I don't even know what to do now. That was the best. That was the best game I've played in a long time. That was amazing. You should eat. You need to eat. Well, yeah, I guess sandwiches or something, but that's insane. Just so ridiculous, man. I don't even know what to do. Like, Feels like when you beat Subnautica. I know. You just don't even know. I'm like, what do I do now? It's fucking weird. Seagull, what if Scout was the signal? No way. What about the alternative endings? There are alternate endings, apparently. There's there's a couple different ways you can break the game. The first alternate, there's two, there's three endings in total. I think. Let's watch them. So, one of the endings is the one we just did. One of the endings is if you get the warp core and then you die. Wait, can I just do them? Load previous save, what happens? If I get the warp core and die, and then there's the Easter egg where you destroy the fabric of space time, right? Yeah, there's there's four endings. Someone just explain them in chat. There's one where you die on the first loop before you touch the statue. The second is dying after the core. There's the actual ending. There's breaking the space time continuum in the high energy lab by duplicating stuff. And then there's another one where you take the core, then you watch the supernova. Oh, that's crazy, dude. I don't, I don't want to go do all of them right now. That's, that's insane. What a crazy game. Holy shit. God damn. Oh, there's one where you don't take the core. Oh, okay. We need the endings. Let's, let's. Can someone find them on YouTube? I'd watch them on YouTube, but I don't want to watch. I don't want to do them all one after another because that's a lot. I want to break spi space time. Actually, I'd love to break space time. Let's go break space time. I'm down for breaking space time because that's really fast and it's funny probably. Also, I thought we were originally going to break space time. I actually almost did it by instinct. Weirdly enough. Uh, where is it? It was on Ember, right? Okay, where's the high energy lab? We need to locate it. Does anyone remember where it is? I don't want to walk all the way there. Wait, do I have to walk all the way there? 
Oh shit. I didn't think oh fuck, wrong button, wrong button. There's a shortcut. Yeah, that's what I'm referring to as a shortcut, right? Go to the cannon, take the cave entrance to the to the city. Well, that's the normal one. That's the normal one. We've been to the high energy lab before. I just don't remember what got us there. That's all. That's what I'm trying to figure out. There's a shortcut for sure. I just don't remember it right now. There's a hole in the rock next to the cannon. Okay, let's look at the cannon. Where's the cannon? Looking for the cannon. Uh, that's the normal entrance that we usually took via escape pod right there. You're not really being rushed. Well, I think if you're going the normal path, you're kind of in a rush. Cannon, where are you at? Can oh, there's a cannon. Cannon located. You still have to go through the city? Okay. Guide me, chat. Is it over here? Not it. It's gotta be next to the cannon. It says it's on the cliff face closest to the cannon. Okay, let's look. I don't want to just like jump into the cannon. I think it's like obviously behind this somewhere. Wait, what's up there? Is it over here? No. You just passed it? Oh, I'm a noob. This isn't it. It's on the cliff, I think. One sec. Oh, found it, found it. We're good, we're good. Nice. Also, this is the shortcut into the city. Easy. stepping stone it's even below found it found it oh god it's this thing might be too late boys we'll see I think we did. Never mind, we're fine. We're fine. Holy crap. Maybe? Oh shit. Just in time, boys. Oh my god. Perfect timing. Okay, so we're gonna test one alternate ending from up here in the high energy lab.
<laughs> okay, here we go, here we go. Open it. Launch mode. So chat, how do I do this? I remember I was trying to do this before and I just don't know how to get it exactly. It needs more energy. Get the power on. You shoot the core and then remove the white one at all. Oh. <gasps> oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Fuck. My God, the music. All right, that's legit. That's awesome. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> All right, that was legit. That's a good game, chat. Oh, man. I think chat I'm ended there I don't have it I don't feel like doing anything right now I just like it's like that feeling you get after you finish a really good book and you have and it's, not, it's like book depression that's like a really good game or it just hits you and you just have to like absorb it I don't even want to play another game right now I'm just like good I can't believe it. that was actually such a good fucking game I'm out. I am Sam. Yes, I am. They were five months since I was here. You were. Dan Will, they were 19 months. I will be back either later tonight just for some chill stream or tomorrow at the very latest. So appreciate you guys being here. I'm going to go grab some food. It's 3 p.m. and I haven't had lunch. So that's kind of important. And this game is incredible in every way. Seriously, it's really, really, really incredible. I would highly recommend you guys go play it yourselves. And... Thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time. I'll either be on later tonight or tomorrow. See you then. Much love, chat. Thank you so, so much. Have a fantastic day, everybody. Peace.